tonight. It's going to all be about me, even though Liverpool got fucking hammered 3 0 and Man United lost to Man City. Um, I mean, no, Man City lost to Man United. Toads, no, ch- no chest for skull fuggery, no? Fuck that guy, man. But it's all going to be about Toads, so fuck you. You're goddamn right. <laughs> And this is cruel. The audacity of you lot to go against Spurs wow. in a North London derby at our ground. Hold that. Hold it, man. Hold it dearly, bro. I'm pretty sure that is a the of the race. That's just so poor. Back again from distance. Standing in front of the bottom corner. I hate Ramsdale. I think he sucks. Tiffany, but do you rate him? No. Meanwhile. Crosses into a nope. game. Here's Kiel. Nope. Setting up. Nope. In for Spurs. Nope. If Arsenal are as good as they say they are, top of the league, flying, best midfield, best defence, then come to our ground and beat us. Mm. Come to our ground and beat us. Here he is. Here's this little bitch. Form is temporary, class is permanent. Lloris has been a good servant for us, so we need to keep the faith. I hate this guy so much, honestly. Delicious, bro. <laughs> delicious. Oh, <laughs> man. I wow. got you, man. What did you say? Like <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, days. What's I mean, that tells the pina colada? Nah, it's Bailey's, man. Bailey's are nice. I swear, I bet it's not as sweet yeah, as it was last season, though, isn't it? What's that? <laughs> the drink wasn't as sweet as it was last season, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, it wasn't as sweet, you dickhead. <laughs> You've been there anti me all day. I've been messaging you. I wanted to know yeah, how yeah, you're yeah, going. I, 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 I think you know what you're doing. I think you know what you're doing. You, you know I'm not in a good mood, and you keep. Like going out of your way to message me. Why do I want to speak to you? <laughs> Are we not big I'm six brothers? I'm to speak to you now on the big six. Why do I want to speak to you before the big six? Are we not big six brothers? Can't I see how my guy's doing? I haven't heard from you in about 24 hours. I just said 24 I hope hours. That's a lie. I hope you're well. And my man's telling me to uh-huh. F off. This guy has never told me I hope you're well and before. <laughs> He's never told you I hope you're well. He never told me I hope you're well before in my life. He doesn't even speak like that. I hope you're well. <laughs> You don't even speak like that, bro. And now you're trying to bullshit me and tell me that it's something to do with my 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 my, uh, my well being. Allow it, man. <laughs> it's, Allow it. Something to do with my well-being. it's kind of mad that Grizz escaped. I can't lie, but I think it's just down to your 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 your, your dealings yeah, with true. Scott Fuggery, your relationship yeah. with Scott Fuggery. Yeah, 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 man, you, need to, you need to you need to repent. Tobes does this to himself, man. Tobes, you can't you can't be sending voice messages like that and not, not expect fire back. <laughs> Matisse, I just want to um, I just want to respond to your. Bitch, early bitch, um, <laughs> about me not being in the program. Like, I don't think I've come with chest for a number of weeks now. I have no chest left. I used to be able to bench press 140 kg. <laughs> I don't think I'm able to bench press 40 kg right now. I've actually invested in new headphones today. These are the old ones, as you can see. Um, <laughs> Don't go too close because wax on, wax off, you'll see. Yeah. Mm. So I've invested in new headphones just to hear what you guys want to say to me and need to say to me. I'm here to listen today and, and take you're, it all you're in. Always listen, you're always listening. I've, I've, yeah. I'm, I'm, I've got a map of the Caribbean on my cup here with all the different towns and centers and places to visit because I'm going on a world tour. I'm going on a world <laughs> tour. Football's not for me. I'm going to visit the Caribbean. I'm going to Bahamas, Cuba, Miami, Caymans, Jamaica, Dem- yeah, all of these places. That's me. Please. Oh, you're right. you're, you're, you're right. Right. You, have, you haven't had chess recently, but I do want to ask you, since you're on the subject of chess, are, are Liverpool still going to finish above Arsenal? I, I, did I say that with chess? I think I said it with a joke and a laugh and a giggle. Ha, 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 one of them ones. But if you want to ask me seriously, because I see you're serious now, because you're a serious club. You're serious asking serious questions now. You know, you're the hostess with the mostest now. So, no, I don't think we're going to finish above Arsenal. Grizz, you can do all this. You, you can do all this, right? Um, yeah. You can say that you're... You I beg your pardon? Been, you can do like 20 I beg your. I beg your pardon? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying you can do whatever you want, right? You can say all this, but it's not going to save you. 
It's not going to save, save me. I don't want. I don't need saving. Liverpool need saving, not me, brother. No, 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 no. You, you need saving. You need. No, saving. no, I don't need saving. No, no, no. Trust me. Trust Alhamdulillah. Me. You pray, pray, you I know told me, you. Praise to God. You, I'm you fine. joined. You joined the thing late, innit? But I no. said, to these, I said to these lot backstage, if yeah, I'm going been, down, you've been talking about me. You've been talking about me. If I'm going down, there is yeah. no way on earth you are yeah. escaping this. With no, no, I'm not here to escape. Any sort of credibility? No, 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 no. You got packed three 0 by. I'm mapped. I've mapped out my world tour, brother. I'm you can do what you want. You can map I am going to do what I want. Go to, to space for like I am going to do what I want. So <laughs> you've been talking about tonight, me before brother. I came into you the studio. And you are Why are you doing down these nasty me? ones? Are you doing nasty ones behind Man. my back? You've been talking you about me. Has he been you, talking about me, Said? Bro, you, you didn't tell me this. Are you talking about me behind my back? You lot three of these are getting caught cooking. But I want Gris there's to no know cookie. that. No, no, there's no this. cookie for me. There's no cookie for me. I'm telling you. There's, 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 there's always time to, you know, experiment in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Because a lot of you need it at the minute. You know what I mean? Uh, first of all, where are we going to start today? I don't know. Huey, you know what I mean? Turkey, well, where should we start today? You know I, mean? I, I, know it's, I know I'm here for three hours today. I've actually booked the, the three hours off. So, guys That's in the chat. Do you want a three-hour show? We can have a three-hour yeah, show. I think, I think you need to. I think you need nah, to. listen, listen, listen. I've just, 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 I've Look how he's chilling after he got his first three points in, in a Listen, are we doing a film? Is this um is this uh avatar? Listen, it's <laughs> avatar, man. Because some of you lot are rubbish. Yeah? Rubbish, rubbish. Down I'm there. with you. Man, man does obviously man doesn't care rubbish. about the playback value, talking about three hours. Crazy. Listen, <laughs> we don't we don't care, man. And last I said, yeah, let's see where we start. I'm, I'm guessing we're going with the with the Arsenal situation right now, but it looks like we've kind of segued into that. But it's madness. We can start off with, we can get the Liverpool stuff out of the way. Liverpool nah, same nah, same nah, 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 nah. No? Eight point, okay. eight point, eight points clear at the top of the table, Grizz. No, no, there I'm just go. saying, I'm That's just saying work point. your way to the top in it. Like start yeah. from the bottom. Make, make sure the North London Derby gets a good long segment and then we can no, all so go watch the Island straight segment. after. I mean, I've you know, Love Island started a we should probably get watching Love Island soon after, I reckon. You don't watch Love Island, but you love it. I You're think funny, the peak dude. viewing funny. should be for the North You're London funny. derby. 100 percent All the Manchester he, he, derby. Peak viewing is right now. Us and Chelsea. Is right us now. and Chelsea. Yeah, look, we can look forward to the El Trash. Us and who? No, you lost 3-0. No, there, there is no us and Chelsea. <laughs> you, sir, you yeah. sir are, are very yeah. important in this show today. Bro, you're you're gonna get is this the team bro. that you lost five Bruce, one? Bruce, yeah, Bruce, and five my one. and I best believe I got my 40 Was minute it five one people? Bruce. Bruce, I got my yeah, my forty you? minutes. I am I am willing to even forego my time today, please. For you, what do you oh, mean you're you willing to go for it? Price. Price. Go for I do a perfect time. price. I will forego no, 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 my no, analysis. No, no, no. There's no, nothing to offer. there's nothing to analyze for me today. I, I don't want your offer. I refuse involved. your offer. You are the star. You are the star boy. I don't take bribes. You are the star boy. Don't bribe me. You are involved. I know you're next to us at the table, but tonight we are not together. Can we on, can we man. start then? Can we get this? You already this know, man. You'll never walk out, man. Come on, man. You already know. Grizz <laughs> <laughs> is doing a lot on delays. To Tobes is right. Let's start. Let's start. And Tobes, start. hold that has become synonymous <laughs> with you. You know, when I think of Tobes, I think of hold that. But no one has told your keeper to hold that, have they? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> battle rap. It's a battle rap, you know. No, oh, no. I, I, someone needs to I'm tell Maurice, hold that. Hold it dearly, my guy. Yeah, he does. Yeah. What are we saying about Ramsdale and Lloris now? I just want to know. That's the first question I've got at the tip of my tongue. The thing is, I can't give my objective answer on Ramsdale now because my objective answer is obviously going to be the opposite of what I've maintained about Ramsdale. Yeah. But I'm not going to be objective because I can't stand the geezer. So I'm still going to stick with what I say on Ramsdale. What I will add to that is that Lloris is his finito. Oh, but you don't you 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 don't want to just take the Ramsdale stuff back. You're still you know man of the match, quality save. No, he was, he was he was excellent yesterday. Yeah, but yeah, I, I told you I, I can't be objective with a guy that I I, I actually hate. Like I hate his guts. So yeah. <laughs> but why? why? Do I, I don't so understand much? why you don't like him so much. He's a phenomenal keeper. Go buy him then, isn't it? That's <laughs> it. Go buy him. <laughs> But why do you hate him so much? He's right. Like, what's he done? Like, what's the history with you and Ramsdale? He's just a mouthy so-and-so, man. I, I don't like that guy, man. Did you send that guy out to kick him? <laughs> no, I didn't. I actually didn't agree with that, to be honest. I thought that's kind of mad. Like, I, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. why. I don't, 
I don't know why fan, a fan's doing that at the end. Yeah, no, yeah, we don't want to promote if, that. Shit. If there's any goalkeeper that deserved to be kicked, it was probably Lloris, to be honest. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of mad. It's kind of mad. All right, let me look at my next question on the list. Uh, who's been the better signing so far after a year and a half? Ben List White or know. Romero? List you know. Ben White. Ben White. Nice. Yeah, nice. I think he's I, done a job in two positions. I said that yeah. last season and, I, you know, there was a bit of laughter around, so I thought, let me just... Yeah. Do you remember Turkish? I backed you. I said he's a very good player. Remember, remember Turkish? I've never said he's not a good player. Though. I said Ben White's a very good player. They're gonna, he's going gonna, he's gonna to be a good player. What's up, just what's, up with, there, do you remember? what's up with Romero, though? What's going on with him? I don't know. He's... Bro, he just, he's just... A, he's a bozo, isn't it? Like, he's got the bozo gene in him. Like, he... He's a he's a he's a really good centre back on his day, but he's just yesterday I he just had this Superman complex, thinking that he's just gonna dash out of his position and just get everything. Just and he was getting nothing. He was getting no ball, just bare bare um, late challenges. Yeah, he, he had a shocker. Probably the worst game I've seen from Romero in a Spurs shirt, to be honest. Yeah, probably. I haven't seen every Tottenham game, but it was one of his. Well, but it's a big one as well. So all eyes were kind of on the game on him. What do you put it down to then? What, what does what does this result come down to? Because you know it's been nine years since we last won at, at, at your stadium. I was there in 2014. Arteta was captain. It's been a long nine years, and it and it's a victory that puts us eight points clear. But I want to ask you first: What do you put it down to? Is it the players? Is it the manager? Because there, there's there's another question on the tip of my tongue that I've asked a couple of times in the last two weeks, but you failed to answer it. We'll, we'll talk about managers soon. But go and talk to me. As in, who's what's the reason why we lost yesterday? Mm. It's the manager, bro. Like with the, the oh, players, the some players made mistakes, but it's the manager, bro. I'm not, I, I'm not talking about no board um, today. Like they're culpable, but bro, once you step out on that pitch, it's all about how the managers set you up and how the players implement the manager's plan. And the manager's plan yesterday was was suicidal. Like it was absolutely insane. Um, and what made it even worse is he watched it at half time and did nothing to to change it. Um, yeah, man. I, genuinely, like I, I'm gonna stop. I stopped. Like just yeah, I've stopped Basically, making excuses for this guy. Like he's just he's just doing shit at his job. I'll be real. Like he's doing shit at his job. If you look at our results over the last two to three months, it's not been good enough. If you look at the performances, how long can I say the performances are going to improve? How many times have I come here on this on this on this um, platform and, and complained that he got something wrong this season? Bare times. How many times are you going to keep effing up? Like every single big game we've played this season, the team teams know how to set up against us because they know that this guy's not going to change. It's ridiculous. When Man United played um, Man City, um, Ten Hag played his preferred shape, but he catered for the opposition. Fred was was all over Kevin De Bruyne like a like a rash, right? Man United, off the ball, were compact. The minute the ball got into the midfield, they were active on Man City. They said, yeah, you can have the ball, but you ain't going to break us down. They crowded the box. They didn't let Haaland get a, a sniff of the ball in the box. Yeah? When, um, like, when I'm giving, I'm trying to give other examples. When Newcastle went to the Emirates um, the other week, Eddie Howe was playing his 4-3-3. And he saw that they were getting killed in the first 15 minutes. He switched it to a 4-5-1. Like even if you're wedded to one way of playing, within that way of playing, you can make you can make tweaks to cater for the opposition. But no, not with Conte. I have to play my two in midfield up against probably the most informed midfield in the league. You're already at, you're already at a disadvantage when it's three versus two. But when Zinchenko is playing, it's basically four versus two. But I guess our manager thinks that three centre backs is going to get us control in the midfield. So if you're asking me whose fault. It is yesterday. It's, it's Conte's. I'm not. Larissa's a Larissa's done right now, um, and yeah, okay, he's done. But there were 90 minutes of football to be played. He made one mistake in two mistakes. Sorry, or however many mistakes. The actual game state was terrible, bro. Terrible, absolutely terrible. Well, what would you, what would you have want them to done? What would you have want them to have done differently yesterday, Toby? Because um, you're saying the way he set up and the, the tactical plan he tried to implement wasn't good enough, and he didn't, he wasn't willing to change anything. I'm not sure any tactical plan probably could have changed the scoreline too done, much. All done, all done, all done, all done. I, 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 from I the way you, I looked at it, it was like right watching here. a Rolls Royce versus a Fiat no. Punto. It, it was chalk versus right cheese. The quality's mm. not there. 
No, I'm gonna stop mm. you right there. We are not. I, 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 I'm we not, are not I, I, we I are can't not, make up my mind. I'm gonna give you the answer. I'm, I'm gonna give you the answer, right? What I have watched in that North London derby was a fucking disgrace. Do you understand me? The first Facts. half is a disgrace. Facts. It's a disgrace. It's a crime against football to set up against Arsenal, who tuck in Zinchenko to make it four. Party, Xhaka, Odegaard, Zinchenko, four people in central areas, and you don't pack that midfield. It is embarrassing to have Saar make his Premier League debut alongside Hoiberg, 2v4, and a world-class manager who my man was singing good morning to on Instagram stories celebrating. You have to hold that. You have to. Because when we're talking about elite institutions, this is why you don't celebrate until you pick up trophies. You guys were... Singing Antobio, you guys had him on your Instagram stories telling him good morning. What do you want for breakfast? Bacon or sausage or eggs? And you have not have you have nothing to show for it, Toby. I told you you're not winning a trophy this season. I told you, I told you that this was not sustainable. Your team is playing like shit. That you're lucky to come away from the bridge with a two-two, and you're talking about oh, Kugrea's hair's looking long. You're gonna be coming down and talking to me and Grizz in a minute in tenth because the way you guys are playing, you deserve this. You genuinely deserve this. I've never seen a team that have been so lucky this season to be sitting where they sit. You don't deserve to be where you We're are. We're not lucky. I want Brighton We're losing, Fulham We're not and lucky. them, man. I want Brighton, Fulham and them, man, to overtake you. So you've really... Hey! I Brighton, want, Fulham I want and them, really man. Come, come and sit at the this same is, By the way, this is the, this is the second time you dropped this joke today. No, the come sit with me. Come sit let with him, me. Let him, let him, let him. He has to talk. right next to me. Talk, Matisse, talk. I want you to come sit right next to me, bro. Your team this season have been a appalling. And that's the first half. You don't make those changes. Cool. You're getting ripped up. So much space and time. Down the right side. Saka. Madness. But then, first half, you guys are sleeping again for the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth time this season. But you think you can bring it back. Not this time. Not this time. Not in the North London derby. I don't know what's going on with Son. Kuliseski, I feel sorry for him. First game back and he's pulling the strings. It's nuts. It's absolutely insane. Than, but, to, but, but in this game, I've, I've, I hear you on this squad. This squad is very... Average in a lot of places, but Conte, world class manager. Listen, he looks like he's turned the lights off. Your world class manager looks like he's given up, and we spoke about this. Usually, he gives up after he's won something. Second, third season, he starts to act up, starts to act the fool. This is not a man to be worshiping. I know you think he's world class. He is. He is a top manager, but he's not worth the kind of pedestal that Tottenham fans sometimes put him on because he doesn't act correct. Any manager worth their salt in this game knows that that game is going by and you make a change, whether you're committed to the cause, signing a new contract or not. If you're giving up as a manager, I don't want to hear shit about players not putting in effort because that manager gave up. He gave up. You should be... I don't know how you man even watched that and didn't start running onto the pitch yourselves. I would have been pissed. That, that, you wouldn't that have genuinely looked like an Arsenal when we lost to Arsenal. You have, I don't know why you said that. You wouldn't have run up uh, the pitch. You don't even go to games. Uh, did you leave... Did you, you stayed this time, right? I did stay. I did stay. I just find I just find it cheeky that you're talking about. I would have run on the pitch. You would have done nothing. You would have sat in your seat and ate your hot dog. Listen, I've gone to I've gone to plenty of games, mate. You would have sat in your seat and ate your hot dog. I've gone to plenty of games, mate. Yeah. Don't try pull that card. The same thing. The same thing you said on your show about our um your sat with Chelsea, brother. We've been playing shit all season, and we're still above you. You keep talking about oh, you're going to be sat with Chelsea. You're saying we're 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 riding our luck. We're conceding like two or three goals per game. We've conceded like 27 goals this season. We are literally playing the worst football and you're still worse somehow. And you're telling me that we're going to be sat with you. What, the, what, what, you are what right more? What, how much, comes Matisse, down. how much worse can we, how much worse can we get? We've been beaten by every top six. You we've been beaten by worse. every top six. One sec, because you, you spoke, I didn't interrupt you. We've been beaten by every top six team this season with exception of one team, you, right? We've, We've lost like four of our last five home games. Like Spurs are form wise, Spurs are one of the most inconsistent teams, and we're in free for. So I'm confused at this luck that that we're catching. Like, you if anything, it's broke. the opposite. It's the it's the opposite. We have been dog shit, and you're still five points behind us with all that money spent. And you're saying, come sit at the table. You should be well above us. You should be miles ahead of us. And you're talking to me about come and sit next to Liverpool and Chelsea. You're mudded, bro. Bro, the reason you why about? you can get worse is because your second halves have always saved you. And your first... What do you mean our second half has always saved us? We have, how many games you've come I'm from I'm sorry that we have good players. Matisse, I'm, I'm sorry that we have good players. I'm sorry that we have good players that can, that can, that can play well. I'm sorry. 
So you so you just can because, get worse. Just because just because one player is playing shit doesn't mean that everyone has to play shit. I'm sorry that we have good players that can play well. Like people are saying in the comments, it's a mid off. Yeah, it's, it's a, a mid off, man. I don't want to really. It's embarrassing <laughs> if you're trying to talk. You know what I mean? This fight back from Batiste, by the way, that's embarrassing. The fact that you're talking and you're you're below Tottenham, you know, what I mean? below Tottenham. Well, that's that's Oh, so exactly. yeah, yeah. oh, oh my God! Right. You're going to be doing it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me. Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Let's do this again, Saeed, because you've been chilling. Been crazy. Let someone else do it because Matisse, Matisse had something going, and then he just killed it. Hold on, hold on. It's just terrible. Ever since we started this show, Saeed, give it to Turkish. Give the match to Turkish. The only time Saeed's been near the top of the table has been in the Big Six predictions. So you can, you can calm down. You can calm the hell down. It's still irrelevant. This conversation. So you need to relax. You did this and you did that. It's a bit irrelevant. Was losing to the yellow submarines the when you was losing to the yellow submarines, I didn't oh, need to relax. You, relax. you ain't done nothing. First of all, Toby, I'm using to Toby's own logic. Ago. I'm gonna use Toby's own logic to against him. Toby's yeah, team, Toby's team is always in the mud, but yet he can give his opinions on my club when I'm winning Champions League. So don't talk oh, to me okay, about okay. oh, oh Toby, because you're below me, card, you can't okay. talk about my club. Toby's always running his mouth about, about Toby. Toby, Toby so I can talk about the I didn't say you can't talk about Spurs. Toby is always running his mouth. Toby is always running his mouth. When did I say you can't talk about Spurs? Let me talk. I said. Let me talk. I said. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you talk because you're lying. I'm not going to let you lie. I'm not going to let you lie. When was the last time you was above us? I'm not going to let you lie. I'm not going to let you lie. I never said you can't talk about about yes. my club. So why can't I, I never said you can't talk about Spurs. I said you were cooking. I said you were talk. cooking and then you yes, killed so it by cook. saying, oh, Spurs should come and join Chelsea. And I said, you should be above us. Why are you talking? You should be so above us. So That's I what I said. So you I should did. be above us. So I did. You killed, you were cooking and then you killed it. Oh, come and sit next to, to Chelsea and Liverpool as if to say that, as if to say that we're, we're riding our luck by not being as bad as you this season. What were you talking about? And Matisse, mm. is, is Arteta still a mid-table manager? Do you still want him sacked? No. <laughs> no. I didn't answer the question, my bro. <laughs> These are killer questions, you know. Yo, killer wow. questions. Hey, everybody, everybody's got questions. Everybody's got questions. Turkish and Robbie, listen, boy. Let me listen, not speak. Boy. Let me not speak. Can I, can I go back to Tottenham? Because I'm, I'm very disappointed with her. Uh, yeah, come, 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 side. Hit me. Hit no, 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 you know what, man? I called for passion. I called for, you know, <laughs> unity. Remember the Friday show? I said, I want to see it from Conte. And the guy looks dejected, man. You know, the players can give their performance. When I look at Arteta, you can see him on the touchline. You can see him passionate. You can see what he's trying to do. I look at Conte and he's just like, so what's the people to feel sorry for him? I'm like, you're the, you're the man that's supposed to kind of energise this, this, this Tottenham team. And I looked at the first 10 minutes and I thought, you know what? The game plan was there. You were getting into Arsenal faces. There was a bit of something. And then the capitulation from Tottenham was, was, is alarming. And it really is. If I'm a Tottenham fan now, and the way you're capitulating, and the lack of fight, lack of bravery on the ball... I'm just looking at your team and I'm thinking, damn. And then this five of the back nonsense in a derby. And I look at the left back and I felt sorry for him, Sessignon, because I just thought to myself, you know what? Saka against any left winger, any left back, it's going to be a tough one. And then I look at the thing and I feel sorry for him. And I look at the, your, your centre backs. Please, Romero. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you and I'm not reactionary, but this hype about Romero. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Honestly, man. I'm not reactionary. I'm not reactionary. The way, the way you lord this Romero is absolutely a joke. He's had 10 good games. 10. And after that, it's like, where is this Romero? He looks rash on the ball. He doesn't command your, your, your back line. You know what I mean? I just look at him defensively. I think he's always naive. He's always going into people. He's always, like you said, got a bozo in him. This Romero that you're talking about, how much is he buying for? 50 odd million? Um, almost half you bought Maguire for. You know, so Harry Beckham. Harry, almost half of what you bought Harry, Harry Beckenbauer for. No, hold on a minute. Don't do that wrong, yeah? Irrelevant what do you mean don't do that? You just no, said, yeah. I had Romero, 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 and I just found it hilarious. I just found it hilarious. Maguire is shit. Maguire is shit. I just found it hilarious about you talking to me about Maguire is shit, yes or no? Maguire is shit, yes or no? Hold on a minute. Maguire is shit, yes or no? But this you idea... Me, uh, brother, brother, why are you asking me that question? I'm only going off... Uh, you said, how much did he cost? And I gave you the answer. I said he cost almost No, half. but you haven't given me the actual answer that much. Almost half of what you paid for Maguire, 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 a.k.a. Harry Beckenbauer. That's all what right, you call Maguire, right. Harry good Beckenbauer. Job, good job, wherever, wherever. Don't don't divert, you know what I mean, from the point, yeah? Is that, is that all right? Why, I'm, I'm not diverting from anything. anything. I'm not well, diverting from anything. I just found it. Let's get to me talking one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Bloody hell, mate, chill out. But I just no, look no, at Romero. No, chill out. And I, and I, you, and I you, don't, one at a I, I don't get the hype for me. I just look at him. Cool. He's erratic. This game, this is in big games as well. At United away, great ground, all over the place. 
this idea that you guys are lording up Romero is 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 for me shocking. But I just look at the, the whole game. You guys like fight. You, there's a lot a lot of problems at Tottenham, and I think for me, he keeps changing it around. The substitutions were well too late. I mean, what are you bringing on Brian Gill for last two minutes? What's he gonna do then? You bring him on earlier to have an impact. But by then, for me, Arsenal was superior. Like like Matisse said in the midfield, you got it all wrong, mate. Absolutely all wrong. I felt sorry for that Pepe sir. He looked absolutely. He looked out of sorts. And I just felt for, for me, when I looked at Arsenal, they had a game plan. What was Tottenham's game plan? Apart from Kulisevsky, who I thought for me was the only bright spot, what was the game plan from Tottenham? No, came, in, a, came, in, a derby, in a North of the Derby, I just never seen any one moment. I thought, you know what? This is what I'm going to get from you lot. So I just think for me, I'm disappointed in Conte. Because I'm a big fan of Conte. But I'm just looking and thinking, is he starting to lose his magic now? That's just my own point of view. At Spurs, yeah, he is. I think he's lost his magic at Spurs. Well, there you go. So I, I think I personally think he's given up. Um, well, but, that's what I'm saying. He's given up. Yeah. But yeah, no. I just, as I said back on earlier, I just found it hilarious. You talking to me about hyping centre backs. You know, um, I just found it very, very hilarious. So I'm just going to leave that at that. I'm not going to deflect. Um, I get but, no shot to do it because everyone knows about Maguire. But let's just stick to the point. Yeah. No, no, no. I just found it hilarious that you first you said you're not reactionary, then you said um, over hyping centre backs. I just found it hilarious. That's all that. That's what I'm going to no, say. No, I'm saying. Not reaction that's to the game. Gonna, about, now you're interrupting me. That's it. That's all I'm going to say on that one. Don't worry, bro. Why, why are you here about Romero? Like it's you, you guys that gas him up. Romero, so, listen, Romero, Romero. Fair enough. I'm guilty of gassing him up, but I'm not yeah. going to let you do this and pretend that this guy is this awful defender. Yes, he's rash, but we're still talking about a quality centre back here on his day because you've actually seen games where this guy has has actually been dominant for Spurs, and this is not the first time we've spoken about Romero. Me and you. Yeah, this is not the first time we've spoken about Romero, me and you. So he had a shit game, terrible game, and he's not had a good season. He deserves criticism, so dig him out all you want, but don't be disingenuous. That's the first point. I'm not, not being disingenuous. <laughs> second point. Obi, Obi's defending in a very low block. Second point. Second point. Second point. No, no, you don't say relax. Am I shouting? You're telling me relax. I am relaxed. I'm, I'm just talking, right? The second point. I agree with everything you said on Conte. No fight, no nada. Yeah, I agree. It stems from the manager. Arsenal had a game plan. Spurs didn't have a game plan. Spurs just haphazard. I felt sorry for the midfielders. I thought Hoybier was absolutely shocking for yeah. starters. Terrible game. He's been oh. he's been awful since he's come back from the World Cup. But I felt so. I felt a little bit sorry for him and Pape Matesar because they were hung out to dry. Yeah, two against four. They're never going to win that battle. And it's not even just like a normal set of midfielders that they're up against. They're up against like probably the, the most informed midfield in the league. So Zinchenko was just having his way with the ball uh, yesterday. I thought he was he was ridiculous. Um, and yeah, like Lloris, what more can I say on Lloris now? Um, it's just time to go. It's time to go. Yeah. Thanks for the memories, but it's time yeah. to go. I thought we could squeeze another season out of Lloris, but I, I genuinely, I've never seen something like that before. Um, in, in a can minute, I ask, like, can I ask what memory? mental, <clears throat> mental mistake? Mental, what's your best memory of Lloris? Can I ask? What's my what? Sorry, best memory. So, thank you for the memories when you won the world cup in France. Yeah, don't do that, Chris. Man. Well, I'm <laughs> asking a normal question. He said, Thank you're, you, you're just... bad. You're, you're bad. bad, you're you're bad, 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 bad oh my god, you lot have just been shouting and bawling. Right? I just ask him a normal no, question, and you look like I'm the bad one. Mm, you're, you're cheeky, you're, you're cheeky. You know you're quite well. Cheeky. Cheeky. He, 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 he's, he is cheeky. Eight he is cheeky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. I'm, 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 I'm being nice. I'm, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> come on. Why are you shouting at me? I said I'm gonna I say answer. nothing. I, brother, you said you didn't say nothing, so I said I'm gonna answer, and I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna remember. I didn't say nothing. Why they were going through? That is hilarious. Did you do one more time? Did you do one more time? I'm gonna answer your question. I'm just saying. I'm going to remember you. normal fan question. What's your best memory? Because he's done, right? <laughs> Why are you angry at me? You ask me a question. I'm, I'm, I'm emotional. There's a difference. I'm emotional. You're very sensitive to us. I'm emotional. I'm emotional. No, no. I, no, no, I have, boy, these headphones are sick. I can hear everything. Chris, relax. What I'm saying is I'm emotional. So I asked you an emotional question, man. I'm emotional. Why are you thinking I'm asking you a stupid question? or a cheeky I didn't question? say you're asking me a stupid question. It's these that were reacting. But I know the type of question you're asking. I know the type of question you're asking, and I'm just telling you that I will remember this. So when we're talking on Liverpool, I'm also going to ask some of my questions as well, some emotional questions. Right? <laughs> I think you're not. I know you are. Okay, okay cool. I, I, I think I am. I think I am going to ask some emotional questions. Got my jab in, so, in it early. What are you, what are you so, going to so tell no, me? You, brother, you ask me a question, I'm going to answer them. Larice has been 
a loyal servant for Spurs and he's been quality. I can think of saves against Aubameyang in the season when we got top four. Yeah. Um, Pochettino's last full season, I can think of saves in the Champions League against Man City en route to the final. I can think of countless oh, yeah. performances in the Premier League where he's kept us in the games. The, the problem with Lloris is he signed for us in 2012 and for from 2012 to around 2015, we were not a good side. Nah, so, nah, nah. Tobes, I've got to cut you off. Man said, I remember saves from Aubameyang when we finished top four. What kind of memories is this, bro? What do you mean, what kind of memory? <laughs> what a trophy, man. What you, a knew trophy. What, you knew what I was going to say. because Spurs haven't won any trophies. So what? Unless unless I say, oh, we, it led to this with us winning this trophy, that means that he wasn't good for the club. I don't understand. Yeah, no. Yeah, but those sort of memories. What are you going to do when you have kids? That oh, that season, Loris made three big saves from Oba. Can I ask you a question? Where did we finish end of the season, Dad? Turkish. We made top four on the last day. Turkish. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can. Anytime. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So, has Loris been a quality player for Spurs in his in his career? Yes or no? Yes. So then, what? What? Why? So then, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Quality player memories. You know, you're, you're not going to tell your kids about him, are you? Yeah, because we've not won any trophies. But I'm talking about his performance as a player in his time at Spurs. No, no, no I think the Man City one's a quite good one. Like, jokes aside. I'm you know serious. what? It's not thanks for the memories. Man City, yeah. it's, ta- it's not thanks for the memories. It's time to go. It's yeah. thanks for trying. It's time to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but, you know, look, look. Mantis. I asked the question. <laughs> what, who cares? I'm just saying he has to bounce now. Yeah, yeah, whether it's thanks for the memories, thanks for trying, thanks yeah, for yeah, yeah. whatever. Well, thanks for trying, yeah, that's the main point. <laughs> thanks for trying. That's I hear that. I hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's fine, Grizz. You got what you wanted. I you said I hear that. To... I'm the one who said no, I no, hear you, that. Got, you got me to save my memories, and you got people to cook me in the comments. So you got. Oh what you my wanted. god! You trying to say I led that charge? Uh, you're disgusting. I just want you to keep. I just want you to keep you're that war hat on. I just want you to keep that war hat on because you're going to need it. Trust me. Me and you. You're going to need it. Me and you ain't like that. Okay, cool. Well, you're still back in a Conte contract because that's still not sorted yet, but you seem to be very... Like... He's gone, man. He's going. No, but are you, you back in a contract like... now? Can, like, it's, it's, you know, it's not just down to him, is it? He's going, bro. That's are you, are you worried? Can I ask a serious question? Yeah, it's a very serious question. Are you, mm-hmm. are you very worried now that this is could be disastrous for Spurs on every aspect? So... Let's start from the very top. Very much like our owners, your owners don't like investing their own money unless it's like a loan or, you know, what the club makes or whatever. Yeah, you've got a big fuck off stadium that you spent like, how, how, how much did that cost you? You can't really afford to be at a Champions League much. Why? More than our other clubs. The reason why for that is because of um, Harry Kane, namely, and your elite manager or, okay, Pastorly. He's not elite right now. He's doing an awful job. Let's just, we, we all admit that. Are you worried that, because because it's all domino effect, right? If you don't win the Champions League, sorry, if you don't get in the Champions League, you already said Conte's gone, Ski, yeah? If Conte's gone, Harry Kane, what's the chance of Harry Kane staying? I mean, you know more, but what do you think? Low. The, the low? Are low but... So if Harry Kane's gone, Conte's gone, right? And you're not in the Champions League. Winter is here. Winter is truly here, Tobbs. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's some other plans or what Spurs fans think could happen. But from looking from the outside, that's very bleak, right? Yeah. And that's very realistic. I haven't, I haven't like, exaggerated anything there. That's, a, yeah. that's very realistic. I don't think you're out of top four, first and foremost. I think there's a battle. You know, you can come good. But I'm just giving you not the worst case scenarios, but very realistic scenarios. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm actually not disputing your scenario. I, yeah, man. I think once once Conte goes, yeah, like where where's left? Where do we go next? Like we can hire. I think I see us linked with Thomas Tuchel, who's a top coach. But we'll be here in in another year and a half time when it goes still with him, and we'll be having the same conversation. Once Conte leaves, like I said on after the Aston Villa um, loss. That's it, bro. <laughs> it will be a club that will make money and whatever, but don't expect Spurs to be a competitive team with with this hierarchy, man. It's just not going to happen. Um, Conte hasn't helped himself because he's been an absolute joke for the last couple of months. But post Conte, Spurs ain't on piss. Pre Conte, Spurs went on piss. 
I so, disagree. I think I think under Poch, you are actually on serious smoke. Much what did they do? What, 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 what did they give him? They didn't give him anything, but in terms of okay, what yeah, so yeah, yeah, so not the board, but sorry, in terms of the manager, I think the manager was on obviously a lot, a lot more in terms of you was in a title race up until a point, Champions League final. Like yeah. Poch was genuinely almost mm -hmm. there, and that's why I rate Poch so highly. People always dig out Poch and say, Oh, he didn't win nothing here, he didn't win nothing there. But Poch genuinely changed the landscape. I don't think Conte has changed the landscape. If I'm looking back at Conte's time at Tottenham, I'm personally not taking nothing from it. If this is how it's gonna end. He, yes, he got you in the top four. You've been in top four before. That's not anything new. That's not a massive accomplishment. That's not something to, to celebrate too much, in my opinion. Um, you haven't won a trophy at the moment, mm -hmm. Andre. So that's nothing there. He hasn't made the squad better. Of, you know, And that's not his own fault. That's with the board. But just from when he arrives to when he leaves, there is no real shifting of the squad. So there's, there's nothing to take. And I think that's the biggest problem under Conte is that he, he genuinely is a manager that you have to back 100%. You have to win something because you know when he leaves, it's very rare that you're going to be able to pick up and, and, and kind of continue on with some sort of philosophy or some sort of squad. Or, do you know what I mean? It's, it's very much a win now type of thing. And obviously it never matched up. So I just think with him, it's, it's, been a, it's, it's actually going to look back and it's going to be looking like a big waste of time. I'm not saying that you would have done anything during this time regardless, but it's yeah, like a waste of time. I, I completely agree, bro. Um, top four was, what, what did we get top four for? Yeah, exactly. It's just, we're just like you said, it's it's a waste of time. But you're speaking about Conte. Conte's gonna, Conte's not gonna be here in six months. Grizz was talking about Kane, all of these things. Yeah, he's he's got a right to speak about these things. Harry Kane could leave this summer for if the right bid comes in. Son looks like he's slowing down. Um, yeah, the club won't be in Champions League, so I don't have know. You I don't have one. you signed Kulisevsky? Have you signed him? Not permanently, but. But he's yeah. basically he's basically ours. Like I don't think no one. How not vexed one must he be? Um, what? How vexed must he be? I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, he must be vexed. <laughs> Probably. Oh, I don't know. I don't oh, know. Oh, is that the same? He signed him. Is it like um? There's another obligation we, we, to buy now. Uh, obligation. Yeah. yeah. No, it became an it became an obligation to buy at the end of last season because we got the Champions League right. So we have. We have the because we we loaned him out on um, an eighteen month deal that becomes that became obligatory upon like certain sporting criteria at the end of last season, which was one of the Champions League. So, for all intents and purposes, Kulisevsky is a Spurs player. So I think it's this is what I mean. Winning, but this is what I mean. This is why Conte and this is why the season could go really up in smoke. Like these men's, I don't think without Conte, they they're not going to want to speed it. Like he was literally. Conte signings, Kulisevsky, Bentecourt, and who's the other brother? Perisic. Mm. I, I agree. I think, I think all, I think all these guys, they were, they, were, they were hanging their hat on Conte's project, hundreds, banging hundreds. and becoming successful, mm. which is why I think there's a, I agree with everything you said. I think there's going to be a massive rebuild at Tottenham when he leaves because so many of these players, like I said, were hanging their hat on it and the whole deck of cards is going to come down. They're going to say, right, Conte didn't work. All these top players, they're not all young. They don't have time to waste. Kane, Son, they've won nothing. They want to go somewhere and get something. It's just been a massive disappointment. The whole Conte thing has been a massive disappointment. Whatever about needing backing from the ownership to get in um, better quality players, that's one thing. And I agree that Conte does need that. But if there's one thing that you can usually guarantee a Conte team will have is grit, fight, determination, especially in the big games. The same way you look at a Simeone side. They may not play the prettiest football, but they'll have that, that dog. They'll have that dog in them. And this... Tottenham team, Conte hasn't implemented that. As you just said, Toby, what have they lost? Uh, they've lost to uh, every single of the big six teams, bar us, that they haven't played yet. There's no dog in this Tottenham team. They're not playing for him. They're not playing the way a Conte team would. And it's a massive black mark on his CV that he couldn't even implement his own ethos and ideology into a team of professional footballers, regardless of how much money he's been given to put into the team. I'd be very worried for yeah. club when, when he does inevitably leave, whether he's sacked or he walks, I'd be very, very worried at how many players do decide to pull out and where that leaves Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. But the so thing I'm is, the thing is, the, 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 the thing with this is he definitely got his ideas across last year. Granted, we're playing one game a week and stuff, but the team that finished, the team that we saw in the last, the, the back end of last year is a far cry away from the team that we're, we're seeing right now. And what makes it worse is the squad we have right now on paper is, is actually much better than the team we had last season, right? So I think it is a black mark on, Conte, on Conte's managerial career, in my opinion, not even because he, he's not won a trophy or anything, because like he's not the, he's not the, he's not the first 
or probably the last manager to to have that on their on their CV. But what's damning is the fact that he he is basically just screwing up every week, like just making a mess of of his team selections, of his tactics, of his formation, of his player instructions. It's 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 not ideal. And the whole doom and gloom scenario, right? I think Spurs still have a couple of good players. We do. We 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 do. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that the squad is 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 trash. It's not. It's definitely not bad enough for us to be playing as poor as we have done in, in recent months. Don't let anyone tell you that. But we do have some poor players, and to supplement that, we also have a terrible a terrible ownership when it comes to doing the necessary to make the team competitive in the right moment. So when you, when you speak about how it could be a long day for Spurs once Conte leaves, I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree, bro. Can we, like, Arsenal? Very good. Very That's good. That's when it goes quiet, Grizz. That's when it goes Matisse. quiet. No, 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 no. Matisse, Matisse, you Matisse and Sayyid. No, no, Matisse, because I think Matisse is like the president. Matisse is more. Matisse, 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 you have, uh, you seem to have mounted yourself a title charge um, as a, what, what's that guy's name on your show, Saeed, that you had on, I was watching your Andy review Tate. show. Yeah, kind of title charge. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like, man. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like, man. Um, yeah, man, you guys are, I mean, I'm not going to lie yet. This is not the performance. I mean, the result, by the, the result is extremely impressive in terms of you've gone to Tottenham, you've won. But it's not a performance where I'm like, going crazy over because Tottenham made it like it's the easiest game to analyze as to why you won. You didn't do anything different. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like Arsenal were doing anything different to what they usually do. They they literally just played their game and they just, out. It, they just balled out. Like it's normal to, to this season. It's literally exactly, they, they weren't met with any sort of test, any sort of um, challenge. It wasn't, it wasn't a North London derby. No, like the, no, 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 Grizz, no, let me no. land. Let me land. In, no. Let me land. No. Let me land. Because I know you're an Arsenal supporter. Yeah, cool. No, but no, I'm, football, football, I'm a football supporter. These it's, days. A, it's a great performance. <laughs> don't get me wrong. It's a very good win. But it's not the most impressed I've been with Arsenal in terms of performances this season. For me, when people were starting to doubt on Newcastle, that's when I was like, actually, no, slow down. Arsenal here... Yes, they've drawn against Newcastle, but watch the performance. Look at the way that they've still managed to consistently throughout the game, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That, for me, is, is what worries me about Arsenal, is they don't actually stop. Like, they're, they're very persistent. And I'm actually kind of surprised, in a way, you didn't go and beat them 4-5-0, because it was that kind of game. Um, mm. and, and, yeah, man, when you look at Saka, you look at Odegaard, these guys are stepping up. You take a look at the midfield, it was, it was not even a, a match. Ben White... Is another player that again mm. brilliant performance, but again Son is just mm. awful at the moment. If Shocking. I'm taking if I'm taking something from that game, because like I said, this wasn't a North London derby; it was a walk in the park. I'm 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 taking from this is Inketia. Inketia was very good. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. that he didn't score, but Inketia was very good. And when you take a look at Inketia and you think, oh yeah, he's missed a few chances. What else did he bring? He's not just a finisher. This guy's all round game since he's come into the team has been very secure. He's he's been playing very very well. So. For me, Inketio is, is the biggest thing I'm taking from this game because we know Zianchenko is going to play well. But you was wrong on that as well because you was calling him all kind of numbers and stuff. What? What? That? Well, go on, go on. You word for word, give it to me, journalist. Go on, ITK, give me. No, no, no. You're gonna, you're gonna accuse me. You're gonna accuse me right now. You better have, you better have words. No, you better I didn't have accuse you. I said I asked you a question. No, you didn't ask. I didn't give a statement. No, you didn't make a statement. I didn't make a statement. I said, did you not take the piss out of him? Like he's giving no, a shirt number. No. New fourteen. What's his numbers? Uh, Turkish. What's his new number? Is he Henri? Yeah. Are you calling 14. him Henri? 14 or something, yeah. Are you calling him Henri? I mean, I'm calling him shit. All right, well, then... then, he, then I'm just 14. saying, like, just say you was wrong about him. I haven't heard you say that. I just want you here to say that. I, I admit when I'm wrong, man. So Kalma, 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 Can you humble Kalma, yourself? Kalma, Kalma, it's been a he was few wrong games. about Nketiah. Kalma, Kalma, it's been a few games. Let me just praise him in isolation. Kalma, Kalma. But Kalma. going back to the Arsenal... Let me not be reactionary. Like me and Saeed, we're not reactionary. Kalma, Kalma. Kalma. <laughs> I'm saying, Listen, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, look, I'm gonna let Turkish speak on Arsenal because that's the right thing to do. But because I'm a football football man these days, yeah. Um, yeah, that's what you I mean. think. I think, are oh, you the football man? Oh, he's a football now. All of a sudden, Liverpool do a bad. 
Mm. <laughs> about Arsenal here. I mean, I'm just, it's part of the show, right, Turkish? Like, we talk <laughs> on each other's teams, like, what are these man's on today? I don't get it. So, <laughs> yeah, when it comes to I mean, I, I, I think yeah, I think you're underplaying their performance. It's sometimes, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not about football. And we know North London derbies are sometimes not about the best team. How many times has Arsenal been in a, uh, but the better team go to uh, Spurs and get beat up. How many times has Spurs been the better team go to Arsenal and get beat up? It's all about mentality and getting over the line and winner's mentality and all of that business. And we were talking about how, even though Arsenal got a better team, Spurs, we never know what's going to happen in the North London Derby. You never know because they've lost so many times. What's their record? It's poppers. I mean, it's bad, isn't it? Going over to, to Spurs. To get, play that game the way they played and come away with three points nice and easy, I genuinely think that's a... Of course, it's a huge result, but I think the man of it mentality monsters is that what mentality. you're saying? Hey. Because <sighs> are you not? Did you not see mentality? Mon they they brushed Spurs aside, brushed them aside, and that is mentality more than just talent. As you said, they weren't playing sparkling football all the time, but the way they the way they went there and controlled the stadium, the atmosphere, the the noise levels, everything with their football. I think it was very, very impressive. Mm. I think, I think um, Odegaard again, man. Listen, we're, we're looking at one of the players of the season, man. This guy is a wizard, mate. The way he controls the game, the way he it's, it's, just, it's, it's actually like it's a joy to watch. Odegaard like controls game. He gets in pockets. He he drifts into midfield, drifts wide. He's been for me. Again, like I said, player of the season so far. You know what I mean? And he's now getting the goals that a lot of people like kind of beat him down. They were like, where's his where's his goals? But to see a good player, you know what I mean? It's not always the stats. You know what I mean? On the eye test, you can see he affects Arsenal and the way they play. And he's a key integral part of the way Arteta plays. So I just can't to me, I know, you know, you talk about injuries and whatnot. Odegaard's one way you gotta keep him wrapped up. You know what I mean? He's just and honestly it's a joy to watch. And like I said, the game I think maybe Matisse is underplaying. I think Arsenal were that great. I think sometimes we could look at Tottenham, but Arsenal still have to perform. And they just dominated. It was a, at times it was a training match. The way they were playing out from the back, Tottenham tried to half press, and the way they just ease out the press, it's it's crazy. Mm -hmm. The way we did it differently, and the way Tottenham did it, it's just, it's night and day. So, listen, t Arsenal. Listen, we'll see you next week and that. But for me, they look good. They look good, man, and they deserve to be where they are. I thought for me, for me, it's, um, we, we can we can pick out individual Arsenal players all we want and say how great they are and how great they are. But I know from experience, when you're on a title charge, you don't really look at individual players as much. What you look at is the whole team moving like a steam train, and that's exactly what Arsenal did did yesterday. And it kind of refers back to Grizz's point, which is that. When you're playing and brushing teams like Tottenham aside when the pressure's on, the exact same way you would at home to, say, Bournemouth or something, you know you're moving like a steam train. And that's what they did yesterday. They went in, played their game. That's why I said my very first point on this on this fixture was there's just a contrast in class. Arsenal went in and they balled out. I don't want to pick anybody out, any individually out because they all just look class right now in this yeah. system. It's so hard. I don't, know, I don't know how you stop them. Maybe uh, you know, they could do us a favour next week. We've done it before. In terms of the... Hold on. In terms of the occasion, right, and the atmosphere and the, and the spectacle, yeah, I, I, you, I get what you guys are saying. But I think you're talking about Tottenham like they played like a... They played like a relegation side. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just so pissed off with the tactics. When That's you go to... Wait, wait, hold on. When you go 2v4 in midfield, what do you actually expect Arsenal to do but rip you to shreds? Like, I don't feel like Arsenal came out of second gear. I've seen Arsenal play much better against lower league opposition and be more impressed. Do you see what I'm saying about being impressed? It was easy. It was mm. too easy. When you set up that badly, for me, the game is done. From the, from the moment the game kicked off and you go 2v4 in midfield... I just don't think Arsenal even were tested. I don't think Conte... I mean, Sessegnon versus Saka. Sessegnon versus Saka is a Sessignon complete mismatch. Um, I do think, I do think, think we... I do think we... Um, so, so, I, I just think we're giving it... I think we're giving it a lot more praise in terms of Arsenal's performance because of who nah. they're playing, not because of the actual way uh, that the game... No, not really. Not went. really. I mean, Lloris literally fumbles it straight in. That's 1-0. He, yeah. he did, he did, he did, he did I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I just I've, been, I've been impressed more this season than now. He did fumble it. You're right, you're right. He did fumble it, but... After like the fifth, after like fifteen minute, fifteen minute, sixteen, we barely touched the ball for like thirty five minutes, bro. Like thirty five, like thirty thirty five minutes, we barely touched the ball in our own ground. Mm. You know, we we weren't that great against Liverpool, but we we had more joy against Liverpool than we did at, at, against Arsenal at our ground, right? Mm. 
Um, I think Ramsdale had what, like two saves in the first half? Two saves in the first half. I just feel like the way they, what they did with the ball, like it was, it was painful to watch as a Spurs fan because you couldn't get it. It felt like there was an extra man all over the pitch, bro. Zinchenko, we could not touch that guy, I, I, bro. I, I'm not gonna lie, like I didn't, I didn't really know what he was like. I didn't really rate what he's about off the ball, but on the ball, I can see why Arsenal fans are ranting and raving about him, like. It was crazy, bro. Like him and Partey, and, and even Thomas Partey, I, I felt like by his standard, only by his standard this season, I felt like he had a slightly sloppy first half in terms of like some one or two loose passes. But even with that, his pass led to the first goal. Like he, he picks out a pass, Saka releases him in space. And what were you meant to do up against midfielders who are just getting the ball under no pressure and they're just slicing through our lines? No, you're right. couple of consistently, like we, we, we couldn't do anything. We couldn't do anything in the first half um, from like minute, minute 10, 15. We couldn't do anything. And then there was even um, Thomas Partey. There was a one shot. He crashed, crashed against the um, the crossbar. Like that, that's, that first half was actually a joke. Like it was an absolute joke. That, that that's what I'm saying about Tottenham and, and mentality. I felt like Tottenham were beaten from before the first whistle went. That, that's a fixture where regardless of where you are on the table and how each other's form is, Conte should have had that team full of vim, full of aggression, ready to go out and get stuck into the I team. Agree, and but, and there are Hugh, I agree with that. But, but these, these men are not babies. These men, I agree with that. Conte, as a manager, it's his responsibility to fight them up. But these men aren't babies. There were some players on that pitch who tried, like even Sessignon, I don't rate Sessignon, I have, you know my thoughts on Sess, I think he was poor, but he tried. Kulisevsky tried, Kane tried. What did, what was Son doing yesterday? What did he do yesterday? What was Romero doing yesterday? Yeah. What was Doherty doing yesterday? Like these, we need to realise that sometimes these players aren't babies. You either get the occasion or you don't. It's, it, in a, I'm sorry, in a North London derby, you should not need motivation from the manager to, to 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 play at even an acceptable level. So we've had our beef, we've had our piece on Conte. I've said what I said I need to say on Conte, but I need to hear some smoke for some of those Spurs players as well. Like Sun, disgraceful performance. Disgraceful performance. Oibia, disgraceful performance. Lloris, disgraceful performance. What do you think's up with Sun? How can he go from being so good last season to being where he is right now? How know. does it go that wrong so quick? I don't know. I don't know. Come on, man. We we come on, man. We know, win it. We know. Come on, Huey. Our clubs are going through that, man. A lot of our players that were so good last season are suffering, man. Big clubs. I don't know what you're saying. Where for? No, don't drag me down to your level. Don't no, where. you don't. Like, you I don't want to. What you're saying. <laughs> oh, we will. Don't, oh. don't worry, man. We'll get to him, man. <laughs> wait, wait. No, you don't. You <laughs> don't. don't you got let's kicked out of the Pixar um, group chat. chat, bro. You, did, you didn't see that. You got kicked okay. out. No you problem. Got, like, you know this big dog thing that you were you were in? You're not in that no more. You're, you're uh, next hold to on. me, bro. We're level you're up, bitch. Yeah, hold that? on, hold on, hold no on. No more hold big on. dogs. Not if Huey, it's so Huey snapped back. <laughs> hey? <laughs> What's he on about? <laughs> what are you saying? You're taking notes, Grizz, yeah? Yeah, Got memory in. I'm old man. I'm an old man of the group, innit? I lose memory. I've got to make notes. Ah, <laughs> uh, is what it is. Listen, there is 90 super chats. I, I ain't getting through all of these people. I'm gonna try to get through as many as I can. Um, the conversation just flows so much. I didn't even know we're 53 minutes in, and it's a record 11.5k in the building. Love for the love, first and foremost, people, because that is mad numbers. Monday night show. Make sure you hit the like button. I usually ask for 2K before the show ends, but with 11.5K in the building, I think we can get to 4K at least before the show ends. So hit the like button if you haven't already and make sure you're subscribed to Hugh, Saeed, Grizz, Tobes, Matisse, Skullfuggery, obviously big up Skullfuggery as well, and the official channel. All the channel links are in the description below. So make sure you're subscribed, people. And let me start going through some of the super chats as well. Um, but like can I, I just, said, I've been missing well. out on yours. My can, I just add, <clears throat> can I just add? There's people that don't like my opinion on on my analysis of the game. But no, if don't gonna, but, but no, no, I'm 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 thick skin. I'm just saying this as a rule for mm. everyone because I've seen mm. Grizz get some shit on Twitter. Always. If you're gonna call me an inbred scum, da, da, da. listen, I'm just gonna tell you now. I don't, I don't, I don't really care. But I will block you because I'm a yeah, mod. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just wanna, I just wanna make you aware that we are mods. Like we actually, as a panel, are mods, and we can just block you. So don't yeah, think yeah, you can just sit, cross the line. Do you know what the funny bit is? It's not necessary. It, 
not. You know what the funny bit is, Matisse? They say whatever they needed to say, and then you block yeah, them, and then they cry. Then oh, crying, please. Crying, yeah. right. oh, please. Oh, please, unblock me. They, they will message yeah. Saeed, told Grizz to block me. Unblock yeah, me. Tell Grizz. that's all I get yeah. now. Tell Grizz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why are you me. being an idiot in the first place, man? Because I'm, I'm just warning, innit? Because that's like, I'm I'm not affected, but I'm just warning you, because I don't want you to cry and be like, oh, why did you block the... the, the... No, because yeah, it's nah, difficult nah, nah. to argue. No, what they need to realise is it's difficult to argue back with hella man. Like, if there's 11,000 of you here... Swinging punches my way, like, <laughs> like, how much, like, how much am I gonna duck and dive? I'm just gonna block in it, block, 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 block in it. I'm not looking to punch back. I'm just gonna block, 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 block. And that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. block Let's your keep ass. Block and weave, isn't it? Block and weave. Cool. Matisse is right, by the way. Everyone is a mod. If I say anything like that, I'd block you, and I expect everyone here to do the same yeah. thing. I expect my mods to do the same thing. As if. There's a thin line between acceptance of some of the comments and some yeah, of the man, comments. Us, the banter, We're all thick skin here. We can all take banter. We can all take a certain level of, of, I won't call it abuse, but a certain level of, what do you call it? Banter, man. Banter, banter man. Banter. Like, yeah, banter. Just, just banter call normally. It banter. Just we'll call it, some of it, some of it's not banter, but I'll still, mm. I, I'll still take it on the chin. But some of it is just over the top. So I'll make sure. Listen, it's a record-breaking show. It's, it, there's more to come. We're, we're just about touching an hour and we still got massive things to talk about. Make sure you're, you're keeping it respectful. I've said this from the very beginning, people. Respect is is a non-negotiable. Let me let me, let, let, let me quote the manager at the top of the league right now. Eight points clear. Non-negotiable. Yeah? That's how Arsenal got to the top of the league. That's how the big six have got to where we are at the moment too. So, what are you shaking your head, my brother? He's had, enough, on? he's had enough. He's had enough. Nothing, <laughs> You lot are flying your entire race, nothing, bro. Do your thing. Stay in Stay in All right, cool. Yeah, big up Tolsey. Big up Tolsey. <laughs> my guy, my guy. <laughs> Let me go back to the start, because like I said, I'm, I'm definitely going to end up missing some. Um, some even came before the show, so apologies, people, because I've definitely missed those. Ibi says, Turkish going to be relaxing as chaos ensues around him. We deserve these times. This weekend, we end United's one-week title challenge, too. Good stuff. Listen, there's another big show planned this Friday, 9 p.m. Obviously, Arsenal United at the Emirates next week. But don't forget, City Tottenham Thursday and United Palace Wednesday. So we still got some football to talk about in this show as well. That is the history of Tottenham. We won the league at Shite Hart Lane. We won the league at Shite Hart. Oh, I wish you, you set that up a bit better so then I could have really got into it. But big up you, Sanj. Big up you, my guy. Mana says, to be honest, Tottenham is irrelevant to this panel. There's way bigger things going around their clubs. But then again, Tobes is single-handedly making Tottenham relevant. Nah, Poch course. made Tottenham... Poch, Poch, Redknapp and them man made Spurs relevant. And Martin Yol, yeah? And Lucas Moura and Levy. <laughs> Boogie oh, man man says, that scrub. Can you stop mentioning that scrub name when you mention the first one? <laughs> Bonehead, Bonehead Lucas, you keep calling him, man. You need to respect oh, Lucas gosh. a bit more, man. Bro, man said thanks for the memories to Lloris because of some... Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't Moore make sense. <laughs> Bro, Lucas Moura literally gave you one of your most incredible champion. Like, I can't think of a moment that eclipses that at your club. Don't get him started, man. Let's move on, man. Let's we'll be here on. all night. Boogie Man says, let's get 3,000 likes for Tobes, Grizz, Teta and Hughes funeral donation. Blue Moon in the building. Not going to lie, we was rubbish, but we got had by that dodgy decision. Before Saeed gets gas, remember, he's still behind us in fourth. And he was crying at OT. Listen, I'm going to save them one to the side. I didn't realise that was about um, the United City game. But obviously, I should have known being Blue Moon. Hope you're good, Blue Moon. Um, Dial Squares talking about Todd Bowley there. Mr. BP, you ain't listening to me about this username, are you? But it is what it is. Man, them answer with your chest now. Arteta or Conte. P.S. Turkish, you can call me. Bro, that's saying the same thing, bro. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> Are you trying to set okay. that up? I don't get it. I, I, I'll answer that, yeah. Um, genuinely, I would say Arteta because the recruitment and the style of play. Mm. If you're not going to, you know, say even if Arteta didn't win um, the league, if you're not going to win with Ivo, potentially, I think, you know, Arteta's already won the FA Cup, so that doesn't even count in terms of this conversation. But just hypothetically, you would take Arteta's style and, and recruitment over Conte's mm. style and recruitment right now. So, yeah, unlucky. Unlucky, unfortunately. Anyone else want to answer that? Yeah. Come on, Tobes, man. Come on, man. Just get out. I'm looking forward to Conte, man. They're going to keep really asking, young. man. You're sticking with Conte? Bro. It's no, Saeed. Conte. Saeed. No, 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 no. no. I, I think for Arteta's, me... Arteta's, Arteta's performed better than him this season, but I'm not picking Arteta over Conte. 
is what it is, man. Let's move on. Jason <laughs> says, happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, Rep Cruz, well, oh, welcome to the Big Six, the best footy show. Love for that. Um, Chud says, big up Turks, Matisse, you say, Grizz and Tobes. Light work lane, man. Spurs must rise and beat City this Thursday. Otherwise, <laughs> their season is over. <laughs> Usman says, I think there'll be such a threat when he gets his plan across and I hope he gets time because with him, Arsenal will be Arsenal again. Mourinho in December 2020. Get yourself a pina colada with this super chat Turkish. My guy, I was hoping to get a pina colada for the stream, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't have the ingredients. So we moved. <laughs> Put some Hennessy with that Bailey's and Ice Tobes, a real drink. Come on, lads, hope you're all doing well, but what are your opinions of the fan who kicked Ramsdale and how the rest of the season will pan out? Matty, can't Bad him. Bad him. We've, already, we've already dismissed that. I mean, there's no room for that in football. It's mad that he did that. Hopefully he gets caught. He should get caught with the amount of cameras that are about. But yeah, that's that. You're that's... Banned. Lifetime ban, man. You can't be kicking out a player, even if he's a dickhead. Yeah, lifetime, man. You're life. a bigger dickhead. Lifetime ban. That's yeah, he's going to get banned. That's yeah, lifetime, gonna get a lifetime ban. ban. Yeah, Spurs already said. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, they already made a statement. Yeah, everyone keeps saying that oh, this is Arsenal's test. This is Arsenal's test. Oh, that's Arsenal's test. Nah, we're your test. You want to find out how good your team is? You play us. Come Shit. on, you gunners. God damn. Very good. Very good, Jason. I can't <laughs> lie to you. But I say that you say. Say you can find out how good United are next week. We'll see. Well, we've got it before, so I reckon you know what I mean. This is what it is. Say no more. Turkish, people gone from they will fall to we need to stop them. Matisse is the head of the we need to st need to stop them movement on YouTube. F them. We all, we are, F them all. We are the Arsenal is revenge season. Yeah, this stop Arsenal party you're doing, Matisse. Hey, What's hey, going hey, on? Hey, you're the hey. head of it. We're just, we're just invited. discussing invited. tactics. We're just discussing, obviously, Todd got the message with the Mudrick thing. So we're just, we're just discussing amongst us what we can do to... To solve the situation, it's nothing, nothing matters. What's the abbreviation of Stop Arsenal Party? Huh? What's the abbreviation of the Stop Arsenal Party? SAP, isn't it? So you're the leader of the SAPs, yeah? <laughs> I knew he was going to land like that. He's the leader of the SAPs yeah. as well. See, that's why I didn't respond to you, because you see how he's just, he's just the God assisted him. Yeah. I had to think about it for a second. Yeah. I was like, what is he's the, the abbreviation? leader of the SAPs, uh, the SAPs, the, Ner the Nergins. Yeah. He's assisted himself. <laughs> Man's done a Mitrovic from the penalty spot. It's a foul, though. <laughs> it's a foul, though. Um, it's looking peak down there. How is it, Matisse and Grizz? Tobes put respect on Ramsdale's name and Loris is rubbish. Tobes, Thank tables have turned. 4.0 is here. Not going to lie. I was in pain after last season, but God is the best of planners. Top of the league, and we move in silence. Come on, my guy. Aston Mack in the building as well. Very generous super chat. Listen, big up everyone sending in super chats. Like I said, apologies, because I'm definitely going to have to miss out a few because we're already past an hour in and we're about to hit 12k so it's all mad people hit the like button i was told loris was a different class to ramsdale lie detector determined that was a lie tobes much like spurs embody little brother energy don't worry big brother doesn't mind giving you spending money don't need to thank me for the super chat <laughs> and yeah i will thank you for the super chat i'm an aston i'll buy him a, i'll buy him the ingredients for a pina colada why don't you learn how to make it yourself isn't it <laughs> you can teach me how to make it, Tobes. How about I'm that? Gonna teach you shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool. See what I'm saying? You've been there anti me. I don't get it, lad. Like, my team beat your team, and you're on. You're, you're just upset with me. I don't know what. Come like, on, oh, man. We're brothers. <laughs> Matisse, we can analyze how horrible your club is acting. Holding players so nobody else can buy them. Hope you guys get relegated. <laughs> Best week, Arsenal won. I'm watching the last of us. Um, where are we? Rohan. Oh, that's I need to watch that. Actually. Save that. Tottenham get battered everywhere they go. Tottenham get battered everywhere they go. <laughs> Man, is everywhere bad. they go. North London is red. <laughs> Tobes plus Romero should have saw red. Eight points clear at the top. United, you're next. Ryan, my guy. Love for the love, man. Love for the love. Aston again. Every manager picks Xhaka, but only Arteta improves him. Six months and more money spent. And Mikel is top of the league and Conte is in the mud. Tobes, get Conte a towel. He's washed. The debate is over. My man. It's insane how the tiny tots have switched up on Conte. They were praising him as if he was the Messiah last season. Straight 180. Mad. That Zinchenko performance was one of the best I've seen at fullback. Setting the tempo and slowing the game 
beautiful. Big up Fuad. Not Tottenham Fuad, obviously. I'm going to talk to him tomorrow on Big Six Extra, 10 p.m. Make sure you're there, official channel. But big up the Fuad that sent in that super chat. Wait, that is a bit about Arsenal. Chelsea as a club should be ashamed. It's like the Roman Abramovich years all over again. Arsenal are Chelsea's scouting department. <laughs> TBG says, Arsenal have arrogance and swagger about them now. Something we've lacked since the Invincibles teams are genuinely rattled by us as a trait we've seen all the title winning sides of the past have. Very true. Tobes, your team has officially become... Oh, you're officially been replaced by Newcastle. Gimmick club. Turkish, my bro, do you think Arsenal are now favourites for the league? Talk to me in February, my guy. February 16th. I told you, that's the date. Ask me again. Coming from a Gunners fan since 94, Conte is a damn good coach. Something ain't right there. I feel the players aren't playing for him. Yeah, so it's, it's very sticky to say the least. Actually, this one's a City one. Respect Tobes for his analysis, says Felipe. I'm sure you guys will get a result against City come Thursday. On another note, United are shameless cheaters. We're going to get into that. And to be honest, it's oh, mad. Cry, I'm, man. Just cry. That's all I say to you, lot. Cry a river. Cry me a river. You're going to have your time. But it's funny how yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm there back in Tottenham on Thursday and Hughes back in United on next weekend. It's crazy what this week's going to bring. It's mad at the you, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's, it's mad at the you. I keep, I keep telling you, life's different. Life's <laughs> different, man. People don't know what to do with themselves. Um, Chuds again says, I've always wanted to win the league at White Hart Lane. So I went and joined Arsenal. Kane, it's a, Kane, it's time to run it back. Bring Kulu with you as well. Famous words. Big soul. Remember when Conte signed man was singing Antobio? Life comes at you fast. Second half, monsters couldn't find it. Big Why do man. people change it to Antobio? So whenever I ever sang that, it's Antonio. Get it right, man. Flipping hell. Because I, I, I changed it to Antobio. Yeah, 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 you think. Yeah, but I've never sang that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The remix, isn't it? The you might as well sing, sing, you might as well sing it now. You don't want to sing it's his name. Sing, sing your it's own name right now. You haven't sung that in ages, man. Man said sing your own name, you know. That's I, sang that. it, I, I sing it at games, mate. Uh, <laughs> that's the new crazy. argument now. I'm at games. Fuck it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No one can take that from you. No How old are you? <laughs> fucking 70 years old? <laughs> what do you mean? I literally sing that at games. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I don't understand. What do they call them? Top Lily Whites or something? I don't know. <laughs> no, don't call me a don't call me a top whatever, bro. I'm just me. <laughs> don't call me a top whatever. <laughs> Colt says um, Turkish thoughts on rice and DRB link. Um, yeah, I like I like I like the I like the links, but it's, it's sounding very much like their summer based transfer. So I'm still interested in what we're going to do in the next two weeks. Hence why I say talk to me in February and obviously to look at what happened in that city game, but. Yeah, Saeed, your boys are getting touched up this week. Best believe Spurs forever mudded. Arsenal Football Club till I die. Respect to the lot of you. Love for that cult. Big up every one of you. Tobes, my guy, love you, but hold that. Spuds in the mud. Matisse loving the tears and panic on your streams. London is red. Which Dial Square. Two sleeping giants are waking on are waking on the 22nd. Step back the rest of the Prem. You oil fakes are about to see the original real rivalry in English football. Boy, these super started. chats are slapping for these lot today, isn't it? Shit. Darwin says, put Purple and Nando's FC. Tobes, sorry, Tossin Jr., you can't chat to your brother no more. He's a big dog and you're the little dog. Put some respect on him and Turkish. Mad. Went from singing Antonio to Antoni No. Antoni No. <laughs> Watch them sack Conte and sign Tuchel. More sloppy seconds from us of a Chelsea fan there. Spurs. How did I guess he would be a Chelsea fan? The self-awareness is crazy. What about sloppy seconds? No, I was just, just uh, throwing mud. Oh. Um, Arif says, Spurs pay 60 mil for zero Premier League goals and a bit of fuggish behaviour. That pigeon Richarlison is a flop. And can I just tell people, uh, on the Arsenal Tottenham stuff, Stop the super chats now. Save your money because I'm definitely not going to get through all of these. And I still see some coming in. If you're going to send any super chats, and you might as well make it about the next subject if you want to. I'm not asking for it, but you know, just display maybe... a minute. So you can't read them, just display them. Yeah, I'm gonna display yeah. the ones I don't I don't yeah. do in it. Yeah, yeah. I try and read the ones that you know are five pounds and over or what is it, whatever the green ones are. But yeah. Um Arif, big up you. Tobes, chances Cooley might reject the permanent move after the loan, especially if Ponte Kane leave. Possibly no Champions League, and considering he's a gooner, I'm not sure if he can. I think part of the agreement was was the obligation, and I think he's he's made an agreement in that. I don't know to be honest. I'm just chatting shit. I don't really care. 
Spurs don't deserve Tobes. Why play Cess? I don't get it. Why Sun for 90 minutes? I guess it's about to... I guess it's about to us. I guess it's up to us, Saeed, to humble this lot again. I think I've made sense of that. Must be a United fan. Big up, Weddy. Um, for Conte to change formation is like putting pineapple on pizza. Big up, Ali. I feel like we've finally seen the real Turkish. My bro buzzing like he dropped three pingers on the AFTV interview. Love it. Tobes, my pigeon head did not hold that. Laurie's got worse reflexes than a dead cat. Four man of the matches already, one FA Cup. Wait, four managers of the month already, one FA Cup. If Arteta wins league, will be the youngest Premier League manager winning it. Needs more credit. Come on, you gunners, loving all the clubs, fans melting down. Listen, TikTok, we just have to wait. We just have to wait. Where is that? Grizz, you're right. You're right, Grizz. We're you trying to show you. Me. You're right. Grizz is opening a packet of crisps. I don't know what he's doing, mate. But he needs to. You know what I mean? Is <laughs> it like, making mate? noise? I'm so sorry. I'm so it's sorry. Okay, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you what the hell that Darwin Nunes thing is behind you, but I'll save it for him and move on to you. <laughs> Ali read says... The, read the Super Chats, man. <laughs> I want to go, I want to go more <laughs> hammer now than I've sort you pigeon, but I feel sorry. Um, man could legit live to 100 and still not see a trophy. Talk about deathbed regrets. For taking part, that counts, remember. Big up, Ali. No, man. Turkish, why is Matisse more bitter about Arsenal winning the league more than any other rival? Him and Todd Bowley has an agenda against the hustle. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Chelsea supporter, man. That's Two birds of a feather, isn't it? Yeah, oh, man. shit, my guy. Big up, Tunji. But once, Turkish and Saeed are the only ones smiling. This is my guy from long time. And I was a groomsman at his wedding as well. Big up you, though. Sunday, we wiped that silly smile off Turkish's face. All right, cool. Say no more. Like I said, Sunday, tune into my AFTV interview. Your name will be mentioned, my brother. Your name will be mentioned. Lads, if you could take one Arsenal player right now and add it to your squad, who would it be and why? This is from Toby. Just curious. But listen, my brother. Apologies. Odegaard. We have Please. Zinchenko. Odegaard. Odegaard. Yeah. Immediately. There you Odegaard. go. Zinchenko, Odegaard. Tobes. Or Sako. Sako as well. Oh, are you asking me? Um, hey, Sako. Probably, probably one of the centre-backs. One of the centre-backs. Say no more. Mad, you went from calling Gabriel a bozo to, to maybe wanting him. Interesting. I've never, I've always rated Gabriel. He's got the bozo gene. You called him a bozo one time. Don't, I, you yeah, because yeah, he's got the because he's got he's got bozo gene, but doesn't mean he's not a good defender. I've always uh, rated Gabriel. Oh, Romero a bozo as well, to be fair. So I think, yeah, yeah just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, bozos, man. Yeah. Like some yeah. defenders have bozo gene, like Sergio Ramos had bozo gene as well, but did that mean he wasn't great? Now, fair enough, I get you now. You've put more context behind it. Love for the love told me. Relax, man. I'm on your side. <laughs> nah, bro. Don't piss me off. <laughs> Tired no. of man putting words in my mouth. Hey. <laughs> Taking the piss, says Boogie Man. All right, Boogie Man. You know what it is already. The boys played amazing against Tottenham and now we'll go take down United. We're going to turn... We're going to run it back with them, this time with Partey. Come on, come on. As a Gune, it was interesting that this was the first time that the Manchester derby was more competitive than the North London derby. On that note, I've still got 50 Super Chats here, but we're an hour 13 minutes in. And as much as Saeed joked about a three-hour show, that is not something we agreed. That is not something that is likely to happen. And, you know, we have to keep it moving. So, listen, all the other... I'm going to need chats. another hour, though. I can't lie. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I mean, yeah, I don't yeah, mind going over time hour, a little bit. Cause... But, yeah, that's cool. It can't be Spurs for an hour and 13 and certain people get let off. Sorry, right, some man. people have to, have to face cold hard facts today. Yo, some of us are doing six shows, mm. man. Shit, man. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah. Jeez, you can't talk because you, you, you do back-to-back -back shows for like seven hours sometimes. Right, man, you're, man, the man, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one that's built for this. <laughs> Wait, you, know, you know what I've got in it? His social media is going to be... We've, we've got a new name for him, minute. Say, Remember, Football Focus. My brother. Who, me? Who? Yeah, bro, I'm... I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> My brother's football focus, man. Football focus. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool. Let me keep it moving, people. Um, love for all the super chats. I'm gonna get them in on the screen. The ones that are on United City, I'm gonna keep in the background. And you know, as long as it doesn't go over the top, we're gonna mention it after the United City talk. Before we do, remember subscribe to all of the channels here. Make sure you do that, please, because it's something I want. I want us all to build together. Big up Huey, Saeed, Grizz, Tobes, Matisse, Skullfuggery, and the official channel. 
Big Six Extra tomorrow night, 10 p.m. You know, the, the usual lads, as long as Cam's confirmed, he's in the chat, you know, doing that one game at a time thing. The guy messaged me back all day, so I don't know what he's on. But, yeah, hopefully he says, yeah. And then we have the full Big Six Extra squad in-house tomorrow, 10 p.m. And make sure you show some love to Manscaped people. There's 20% off. Use the code TB620 on the site, anything you want, 20% off, or just use the link in the description and then automatically apply it. But you've heard enough from me, people. So hear it from Saeed. This show is brought to you by Manscaped. And yes, Manscaped are the best in the business. They are the best in below the waist grooming. It ain't easy out here, I can't lie to you. So what Manscaped have done, they've introduced the new Lawnmower 4.0. To get 20% off, all you have to do is use the code TB620 at manscaped.com. And listen, come support the Big Six family. What are you doing? What I love you doing? Any action, honestly, it's Connie. What are you doing? It ain't easy. What are you doing? What are you doing? It ain't easy. It ain't easy, is it? It ain't easy. And you know what? It's a real story. Because I said T1, didn't I? And shame on you in the chat talking about clips and all that. How about you take the clips and take away the sun don't shine? How about that in the chat, yeah? And as for Huey... Hold up, Saeed. Hold up, Saeed. Since you're talking about clips... Oh, so we hit record. I got you, homie. We're going to humble these now. This guy needs a serious, serious... Oh, we're not We're not losing. I'm telling you we're not losing this game. I promise you we're not losing this game. 3-1 City. We're coming. We're ready. We're on form. And Rashford is ready. Be very <laughs> careful, Saeed. I swear to you. I'm so confident. Saeed, any, any, any worries that there'll be another Harlem Masterclass? Or? No, I think, you know what? Defensively, I'm very confident. That's a great clip. We had a bad loss to Southampton. We haven't fallen off. We're not going anywhere. We know how to beat you. We've made a fool out of you four in the last five times. Are you kidding me? We're coming to the derby and we're having you. You know that, Hugh. We're having you, man. We're playing as a unit. Down king over. shit. This is king shit. They could be shit. This is king <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're having ya. We're having ya. The city is red. Huey, you said the clips. There's your clips, brother. There's your bloody <laughs> clips, mate. You bottled it as well, you know. On this chat, you said to me, "Come and meet me after the game." You said, that. "Hang on, you said that, mate. You said not me." You handshaked, mate. You bloody handshaked on that live on it. 4K. We got 4K cameras in. Eh? 4K, mate. And he said, you're going to meet me. And what did you do? You disappeared like your team at the end, mate. Oh. Pep Guardiola, what are you talking about? Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola. I said to you, I said it to you on the show, we've learned our lessons. Ten Hag's learned his lesson. And I said, it won't happen again. And it didn't happen again. Because Man United, done you. They done you. You played all this tick attack of football. 700 passes. You can, you can do your 700 passes. We're out of possession. We control the game. We knew what we are doing. We are in check. And then one chance you had, one chance in the whole game. But I'm hearing all these City fans saying, you never, you never deserve to win. Are you talking? What are you talking about, man? Since when was football one sort of game where you passed it around? You know, there's another side of playing football. And that's over to you, Guardiola. And you can talk all this nonsense about, oh, it's not, we're not winning the Premier League and all this nonsense. Ten Hag came in, he set up well in the first half. You had one shot from Kyle Walker. And we set up, we knew what we'd do. We had a game plan. I said to you, and I said to you, my United fans in the chat, you didn't believe in it. Ten Hag were built different now. You man didn't want to believe it. And I believed it. And I asked you the question, Huey. I said, you're just saying it for the sake of it. You don't believe it, actually. You had 700 passes. 400 of them were Nathan Aki and Akanji passing it side to side. You never once got behind us. Haaland, I need to know where he is. I really do. Because you was talking about Haaland's going to come. Haaland's going to come. What's he going to do, man? What did he do? He's in Varane's back pocket. That's where he is. That's where he is, mate. He's running around. And you know what? I felt sorry for him because the guy was trying to do something. He came all the way down the halfway line to receive the ball. That's what Ten Hag did to him. And Guardiola was like, yeah, yeah, we'll get the ball to him. The only time when you look threatening was when you brought Jack Grealish on. Folding in wan pocket. wan pocket. This is wan we're talking about. And you never had any answers. So again, and I said it to you at the game, come and meet me. But you bottled it like your team. We outdone you. Manchester is red. We're living it. And you can cry about the referees and all that. But you weren't crying last season when Rodri handballed it and you went on to win the league. And that was the difference, really. You weren't crying then. But all of a sudden, now you're crying about the referees. How about you shove it? Shove it. I couldn't care. <laughs> let me. And I said it. <laughs> my neck, no, hold on a minute. I put my neck down here. I said, we're going to win this. And I had that beneath, man. <laughs> and Heisenberg. We are <laughs> 
Fred. Fred will tear you apart. Wow. Fred. Fred will tear you apart again. De Bruyne peeled away from him in one time in a game. One time. But after that, mate, he had him in his pocket. You know what I mean? Garnacho came on. We had the substitution. We made an impact with our substitutions. What did Guardiola do? Listen, man, I just think for me, Huey, you got to hold the L. I don't think you can speak. You know, when you talk about analysis, I think you just need to keep quiet. The way you are now, you sat back like that. That's how City played. You sat back. I'm, I'm, I'm just letting you land. I'm just letting you land. You do your thing. He did this all his tick attack up, mate. And what did it amount to? You had one chance in the game. We had two free chances in the first half. And then the second half, we had a couple at the end. And that's what we do, man. At home, one defeat at home. And that's why I believe, man. I believed in this team. And I knew Guardiola would do all this. But we knew we had a game plan. Casemiro went in out of possession, played in the back three. Like I said, Martial didn't make and allow Aki and Akanju go in and drive into that midfield. We had a game plan. Bruno Fernandes formed a, a four in that midfield. This is United is now built different now. We're defensively solid. And, and you thought you're going to come over here and, and start doing all this nonsense. And you think it's going to be a training ground. No, 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 no. This is Ten Hag now. Like I said, he learned his lesson. I told you. He learned his lesson. We didn't play without Casemiro. We were off for four weeks. But I said, you know what? There's no excuses. When it comes to the next round, we'll have you. And we bloody did, mate. Huey, I just want to remind you again. Manchester's red. And hold that, mate, yeah? Hold it. You done? Yeah, shocked. I'm done. Like your team. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm shocked that he didn't handshake the man after the game. That's very disappointing, Hugh. Very disappointing. And you know what he said? Go, he said? He said, he said, he said, that they, they, they kept within 40 minutes after. Well, I was there outside on traffic for two hours waiting for you. He oh, didn't come up. No. So you bottled it. You oh. bottled it, Hugh. So that handshake now, for me, I don't know what to think of you now because you, you, you basically <laughs> came out. <laughs> I don't know what to think of you, mate. Honestly, you, you disgraced everyone, eh? You've actually displaced everyone. Because at the end of the day, I would have been there. And I was there last season with Big Steve. And Big Steve, by the way, I hope you're enjoying Lanzarote. I hope you're all right. I'm not, I hope you're not drowning your sorrows near the beach and that. You know what I mean? Make sure you stay away from the beach. Make sure you're, you're sitting down, you're relaxed and that. Calm down. Make sure you've not got no hot head. Because apparently, you're blocking every Man United fan who's giving you stick and that. So just chill out, relax, enjoy your holiday. And I'll see you when you come back. All right, Steve. All right, all right Said. We, we get the picture. You're, you're happy you won a derby. Listen, as regards to the, to the handshake thing goes, unfortunately, I don't live in Manchester. I'm sure you can get by the sound of my voice. So I have to get a flight home. I, I like to get home after a game. We were held for, we were held for 40 minutes. I was, told, I was told this excuse might come it's out. Hang on. Oh, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. did I interrupt him once? Did I interrupt him once? No, no you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. I, I didn't. Did. I, I let him give us all that spiel. I've listened to it. Now let you me... Did, you, you did, you did, you did. 100% you did. That's but we're going to interrupt fine. you. <laughs> 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 no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, look, <laughs> look, 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 I'm busting uh, drunk, man. I'm having chicken and sweet corn. I said love Island. I'm busting joke. Carry on. As I was saying... We were held for 40 minutes after the game, and as soon as they let us out of the away end, I was staring at an empty old trapper for 40 minutes, and I knew you'd be outside as soon as we got out of the away end, they shepherded us to the tram, and I had a, I had a flight home to make. So listen, apologies that for not making that. It's a complete lie, you know, because the tram... It's it's about, you flew back the next day. You didn't I, went, I went to Old Trafford Cricket Ground. As soon as we came out of the away end, they, they shepherded us right, walking down Shepherd towards you, Old Trafford. It's about a 10-minute walk. It's a 10-minute walk. What time was your flight? What time was your flight? 20 to 6. 20 to 6 a.m.? PM. Oh no, PM. Sorry, PM. The match finished at two thirty, Hugh. And we were held for forty minutes. Do the maths. Mm -hmm. Do the maths. As soon as I got, are we really doing this right now? <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're, we're doing, doing the calculations. Muffin, muffin. That, that that's still like at least for twenty minutes. Here, we've, got a, we've got at Toby for leaving games. We've got at Grizz for leaving games. I stayed. I stayed. I know you stayed. I stayed for forty minutes after. Well, you didn't tell me your work, did you? I stayed. You stayed too long. I'm here. They got me. I'm here. You stayed too long. You wanted to take in the sights, the scenes. You got to leave Old Trafford. But yeah, go on, speak about the game here. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, well, listen. <laughs> listen, it's disappointing. It's, it's, it's disappointing. Listen, for, for all these United fans, right? You're saying, oh, we don't care about City. Liverpool's our real derby. Oh, you and Cass crying in the stands like you've just won there the World go. Cup after you beat us in one derby. Manchester's red, you're saying. United are back. You're still behind us in the league. We, we've had one derby win each this season, except the first time we hit you for six. You beat us 2-1. We were robbed. We were cheated. 
You scored a completely unfair goal, which turned the tide of the game. You beat us and won, you're still behind us in the league. We've won four of the last five Premier Leagues, and you're trying to tell us you're on top of us now. I'm sorry, if the flow of that game, yes. We had all the possession, 700 passes, all that kind of stuff. We didn't make use of it. But I still think um, we were robbed. I, I want to talk about that first goal. I want to get your thoughts on that first goal. No, sorry, sorry. I'm just, I'm just getting, I've just got the violin. It's around. Sorry, sorry, yeah, you it's think, you it's right. at that point, we're one nil up. We're, we're going through a massive purple patch. From the, we, we played crap in the first half. We had all the ball. We didn't use it. There was no penetration, no aggression. I get that. We weren't looking for Haaland. We were playing the easy ball every single time. But in the second half, Grealish comes on. He adds that energy. And we're actually playing quite well. We get a deserved goal, which Ka which Kevin De Bruyne absolutely spun Casemiro for, by the way. Jack Grealish gets his goal. And I think, right, we just need to hold on to it. And we're absolutely robbed. We're absolutely robbed. But listen, listen if, man, I, if, if, we, if we had scored that goal in that mean. fashion, I would be embarrassed. But listen, you 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 do your things differently over in Old Trafford. You do listen, your things. Oh, the hardest thing is this, you know what I mean? You're crying. It suits you when you're crying it. But this idea that you're going on about you're robbed and you deserve to win the game. You had one shot all game. I didn't never say we really deserved to win the game. I, I said we were robbed. I said I, th I think we would have gone on to win the game other than the fact that we were robbed of that goal. But it's happened. Listen, it's happened. It's the Premier League's fault. It's happened. After the goal went in, though, you capitulated. You capitulated. You know, yes. you it's after you the goal, you capitulated. That's more worrying. That's where we should be talking about. Okay, the goal goes in and whatnot. But after that, mate, you ran out of ideas. Mm. So that's what you need to be talking about. And how Guardiola is, 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 is not getting the best out of Haaland. You know, that's what you need to be talking about. I, I don't think it's Pep, I don't think it's Pep's not getting the best out of Haaland. I think the players are struggling to to get used to playing with Haaland. After playing with a false nine for so long, I don't think Pep anticipated the transition from playing with a false nine to an out-and-out -out striker would be as difficult as it has been. And I've been suggesting for quite for the last sort of while that maybe it's worth going back to playing a false nine system and bringing on Erling Haaland in the last half an hour when we have tired our opposition out and, and letting him see the game out. I don't think we're using our squad as effectively as possible. It's simple as that. I think, yes, a lot of the blame does go on Pep Guardiola, but I still, I've still, i still got full faith that he'll get this right. We've had problems before. We've had problems in seasons where we've gone on to win the league. When, when, we, when we lost Sergio Aguero and we had no striker, we were told, how can City keep it going? They have no striker. Who's going to score the goals? And we went on to win, was it three Premier Leagues in that spell or two Premier Leagues with a false nine? If there's anybody can fix this problem, it's Pep Guardiola. We have two out and out strikers. We have enough players who can play a false nine. It's just a matter of Pep getting it right. There's 20 games still to go in this Premier League. We're eight points behind. We have to go to Arsenal twice. You have to play against Arsenal. There's a lot to happen. I'm being told City are finished. City are washed. City aren't the same juggernaut they used to be. Be careful what you wish for and be careful what you say because we've done this before. We've been told we're finished before. We've been 11 points behind Liverpool. Liverpool apparently won it in February one year or December in one year. And we went on to win it. Do, these but, United fans, do, these United fans get giddy as well. They win one derby and we're again, told Manchester like is red. Manchester's red. Relax. The question I was going to ask is, are you not are you not a bit worried that Man City have lost a step here? Because again, we're, we're having this conversation again. Man City, since the World Cup, there's probably what two games at a push where Two, maybe three games at a push where you can actually say that you guys have played well. But the majority of your league performances have been underwhelming. You were by far and away the inferior inferior side in the first half. And for all the, the luck that Man United got with the goal in the second half, they could have been tuning up in the first half. The performances from Man City are not looking as, as potent as you would expect. Does that worry you a, a slight bit? Heading into this running because it's looking like Man City. I'm not going to lie; it's looking like Man City are um, a bit more vulnerable than they were in previous other seasons. And I'm not saying this to say that Spurs are going to come and beat you because we're trash. But I'm just saying generally, surely you must be a bit concerned. Surely, I, I am a bit concerned. Uh, I'm not going to lie, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say no. We have been playing well because we haven't. I think there's maybe three players I can count that since, the, particularly since the return of the World Cup, I could say have been playing well. And that's Rodri, Grealish, and um, Riyad Mahrez. I think some of the players, uh, as Gundogan alluded to last week, are possibly suffering from a lack of hunger. Um, and I believe some of them are also suffering from, or they're victims of the system. I think there's certain players who flourished more uh, with a false nine system where there was more space in the pitch. And now the Pep's doing this whole inverting thing and there's an out-and-out -out striker there. They're not able to play the way, the way they used to be. I don't know. It's definitely concerning. And also the main thing for me, which 
concerned me again in the derby and in recent games too was the lack of leadership on the pitch. There's no real leaders in the pitch. There was no one I looked at in the pitch on Saturday other than maybe Rodri and said, yeah, he's going to drag us through the trenches. Bear in mind, we're missing Ruben Diaz. And for me, he is the big leader in the squad. When Ruben Diaz comes back, I guarantee whether we start playing better football or not, we'll at least have a leader who will drag us through those tough moments. He will come back. John Stones will come back. And that will be the ideal centre-half partnership. I think there's things to be fixed. There's a few players to come back. Yes, we're not playing our best. But like I said, and I'll keep saying it, uh, right until I feel that we're fully out of the race, that I trust Pep will get this right. I'm not panicking, but I'm definitely concerned. Can I just say as well, listen, Ten Hag, man, what, what did I say to you about Ten Hag in terms of a tactician, mate? You know, you've got Arteta, you got up there, but listen, Ten Hag is up there. He knows how to set a team up. He nullified City. He made sure that people talk about Martial. Yes, he wasn't pressing and whatnot. But he, he didn't allow Akanji and Aki to press and, and move that ball into midfield. You had, I think, 700 passes. Four of them were in the first phase of play. You had 14, 14 passes in our in our box. We had 10. Look what Ten Hag is doing is, is effective football and he's doing it and he's nullifying teams and he's winning games. People need to put some more respect on Eric Ten Hag and an attack that he's deploying. You know, it might not be what everybody's cup of tea, but it's effective. It's actually working. And look where we are now. Clean sheet after clean sheet, defensively solid. So I just think for me, you know, put some respect on, on Ten Hag, mate. That's all I'm saying. I know we talk about Guardiola and this and that and whatnot, but for me, again, at home, one loss at home. They said, I, think he's, I think his record against the big six is is obviously he got pasted by um by Man City, which was yeah, yeah. our note. But I considering how bad Man United were last year to where Man United are now, I think it's a testament to the job he's done and, and now. Teams are coming to Old Trafford, and it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same um, mood that you had before. Before, probably the last two, three seasons, most teams can go to Old Trafford and they'll fancy themselves to get three points. This season, he's beating Arsenal, he's beating Liverpool, he's beating us, he's beating Man City. Um, they went to Stamford Bridge and were unlucky to get were unlucky not to get three points. So, yeah, man, I think he's doing. I think he's doing a fantastic job. I mean, it helps that he was able to spend two hundred and thirty million, which is not what most managers get to spend in their first window. But that being said, the state when you look at the state of Man United squad that was left last summer and what he's doing now, yeah, he's doing he's doing a great job. He is, he is. And like I said, I, I, listen, I, you know, people can say clip this, clip that, man. I'm just saying, I believe in Man United, and there's a difference, there's a fine line, you know what I mean? And that's why I was full on back in United last week on the show because I knew we we're gonna beat them. I knew it. Just had that firm belief. And like I said, I didn't believe that Huey, when, what he was saying, was what I actually meant. I didn't. I just thought you were just kind of saying it because Man City in the past have done it, you know? Now, there was definitely a feeling of uh, underlying anxiety going into that game with our form running into it and your form running into it. But for Manchester Derby, of course, I'm going to show chest and pride regardless. I'm not going to sit there and say we're going to take, take a hiding. Like, I, I knew from the moment I walked into Old Trafford, like, I'll give you the credit. The atmosphere was pretty electric, which is why when we scored that goal, I said, fuck, we scored too early because they're going to come out now and they're going to look for a goal. And I knew you had the quality players, especially when Garnacho came on. He made two or three runs. I I said, run next... Alejandro Garnacho. You know what I mean? Alejandro Garnacho. Change the game. You know, yeah, I'll be saying it. I'll be laughing. 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 I'll be you know? He Go made on. two or three runs, and I said to the guy next to me, this kid's going to cause problems. I think we might have scored too early, because once that he came on and, and he brought some momentum, the crowd went up. The crowd went completely up. The stadium, I, I could barely hear myself think, and the momentum was in their favour. There is definitely a feel-good factor at Old Trafford. I'll, I'll give them that. I don't think Saeed's wrong in saying they're believing in their team. Um, I just feel that with all the possession we had, I was very disappointed with the way we used it. I think he's right, he's right to laugh about it because it is laughable when you have that amount of possession, you, you pass that many times and you're not going forward. I mean, the things that you don't see on camera uh, that you only see in the stands is what I paid a lot of attention to. Haaland making runs um, left, right and centre and no one's willing to give it to him. Bernardo's dropping deep and turning into essentially a, a double pivot. He's no use there. I don't want him there. He, he, he was crap. He doesn't want to be at the club. He's made that Why clear. Why was he doing that, by the way? Like huh? playing, he kind of playing Rodri position. He kept, he kept dropping deep to get the ball from the centre-backs. He would turn on the ball and he would just give it back to them. And I'm like... 
What are you actually Toby, doing? I don't, know, I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing. If I, if I genuinely had an answer for you, I'd tell you. I don't know what he's doing. The whole city away, and we, we were all saying, why is he dropping so deep? We need him further forward being creative. He's picking the ball up from center halves, passing it sideways. Okay. I'm watching Mares make runs. I'm watching Grealish make runs. And Bernardo's not giving the ball. Haaland's making runs. Bernardo's not giving the ball. That's what we didn't make use of our possession. A fluid, um, fully functioning city team penetrates with that amount of possession. We put four and five pass, but we didn't create. And I am willing to give Ten Hag credit for the system he set up, the tactics he set out with, he implemented, they work perfectly. But from my perspective, like I said, I'm just disappointed that I'm not seeing us be more aggressive with the ball. It was We were being too easy, taking the easy option every single time. Like I said, that's why I feel we could have won the game four and five times over. And I think in recent years, we would have with that amount of possession. It's probably a balance of us not being the same way we used to and Ten Hag's tactics now being effective. Is that, is, that Stones, is that Stones missing though as well? Because when Stones is not there, I mean, Stones is your best ball playing centre-back. I think, I think that's fair to say, isn't it? So when Stones yeah. isn't there, the ball just, it, it's not progressed, I don't think, the same way it would be. And that's maybe why he's dropping so deep. Now, I, I agree with you. I think him dropping deep is pretty pointless. Um, I, don't, I don't really think he's the person to use for that role. Maybe Gundogan would have been a better player to have in there to do yeah, that. Foden. Yeah, Foden was yeah, he, yeah, Foden was anonymous on the left. Um, I, you, know, I, I don't know. Yeah. you know what's mad, yeah? The, the two things that I looked at the game, yeah, and I was like, please, these two do not start, is Gundogan, who performs always in the derby, and mm. Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish, when he came on, I was yeah. petrified because he was taking people on. There was, a, there was a minute where Casemiro just literally hacked into Grealish because he was like, he was just going at people, and that's what I didn't want. And Guardiola missed a trick. In not playing Gundogan and for me, uh, Jack Grealish. So mm. and, and Ten Hag, Ten Hag what's, played. What's Fred? going on with Foden as well? Because I feel like his form is. Yeah, I know his, his form. His form has been his form has been smelly, and we had this conversation in the past. And Phil Foden, he's a fantastic talent, but we definitely had this convo last year's Hugh, and it was funnily enough, it was along the lines of Grealish when we were talking about like big money flops. When you play for Man City, it feels like you don't get scrutiny. And I don't know, I don't understand it because when players at other clubs are going through spells where they're not playing well, they get cooked left, right, and center. But at Man City, you're you're always protected. Even someone like Riyad Mahrez, even someone like Riyad Mahrez, Riyad Mahrez missing, ab, ab, missing in action for months. All of a sudden he comes back to life. Oh, Mahrez is such a baller. But when, you know it's, it is? Like, when it's the likes of Salah, when it's the likes of Adler, it's the likes of 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 um of Sancho etc cetera, etc cetera. there's so much scrutiny do you know do you I'll know what you, it is? I'll, tell, I'll give you a short answer Toby I'll give you a short answer as to why that's happening it's it's trophies it's simple as that it's trophies well while, while we are winning trophies if some players aren't performing to the level that we know they can they're going to avoid that same level of scrutiny that you're talking about that other players do pick up. Now, if the trophy supply or the trophy flow does slow down or we don't win major trophies this season, the, those players probably will pick up more slack. But I don't think they'll get it so much from the City fan base. I think, as a general, the City fan base, we try not to get on the backs of our players too much. And that's just the way it is. I don't, I don't I'm not even just, talking City in general. I'm just saying. You know what it is? I, I, think, I think for me, even I'm, for what me is it is, I'm talking, talking general fans. Bank. Hugh is right. You've got, you got credit in the bank. These players... Obviously, they've, he was right. When you've won so many trophies, you've performed. That means you've performed at a very high level. You have credit in the bank, so you don't throw your toys out of the pram in the first sign of distress. For me, it's rotation, right? These players don't have responsibility to the magnitude of a Saka, to the magnitude of other players at their age group. Speaking of Foden, at their clubs, because Foden doesn't have to start week in week out. Foden mm. is rotated. He's been rotated his whole City career. He's in for Grealish. He's out. He's in. He's out. So if he's not playing well, Pep will just take him out. And he'll put someone else in. Mars is right. not playing well. He'll just take him out and put someone else in. That's yeah. the difference. When you're not playing well for your club, like a Sancho, but you're needed, you're absolutely needed every right. single week because you're 100 million yeah. and they don't have the luxury of sticking on another star, star player in your position. We're going to watch you. You're, we're going to watch your downfall in real time every match. And that's the difference. So it's a lovely environment to be in. And, and, it's, mm. and it's, it's smart in a way from City to to kind of stat pad these these attackers like this because a lot of them have been inconsistent. But when you can switch them in, switch them out, it's 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 not going to get the same microscope as a player that's playing week in, week out, week in, week out. So that for me, that's what it's about. It's not nothing to do with trophies for me. Listen, trophies is is great, but everybody can see who's contributing to the trophies and who's not. Mm. It's very simple. For me, it's more about the microscope is not as big on Man City. A, because the pressure is not as massive, I don't think, in comparison to Man United and and because obviously City have risen and I still think City are, their fan base is still very appreciative and rightly so, very appreciative of what they're getting. I don't think they, they've 
got to that level of arrogance where they're like, yo, we have to pick up a Champions League. You know, if they win, they're very, very happy with it. If They, they have win, now, though. Domestically, they have. They have. Yeah, maybe yeah. domestically, yeah. But, you know, I, I just feel like City's fan base is, is not quite yet as... I know they're, they're in the big six, but I don't feel like they're quite as, like, you know, demanding, you know, do this. Do you know what I mean? It's not like... That's big, you say. It's not that sort of club, though. You know, are yeah, you it's not, it's not, and, and that's, that's not a bad thing. No, 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 it doesn't it's mean that. It's not a bad thing. It doesn't mean that, no. They don't bash their players in that kind yeah, of sense. Yeah, they don't, they don't. It's not, they don't, but I don't think they, they, they need like to that. because they've won yeah, trophies. But Foden, obviously, he is obviously from Stockport, he is a local lad, so that's why, you know, what I mean, the pressure isn't on him as such. But I, I do think for me, you know, his form has not been great, and that's why, again, I think Matisse hit uh, kind of hit on the nail on the head there. They don't play as often. And they can rotate easily. So Guardiola then can bring Alvarez on. They can bring on Mares when it's not working. And they'll say, oh, Mares needs to start. And then Mares will have a drop in form. No, it's Foden that needs to be playing. So they don't have a, a, a kind of a, a sequence of games. So it's as simple as I that. Think, I, I think you're too quick to jump down the throat of Phil Foden. I, I, I get it. He's not played his best football slightly recently. But we're forgetting before Christmas, I believe he was our second top goal scorer. It was good. He scored, it was a, good. He scored a hat trick. Yeah, in like, the hard. first half of the season, his GNA was higher than it's ever been. Since the return of the World Cup, he hasn't even played every single game. He was exceptional against Chelsea in that cup game last week because he played in midfield, which is going to be his ultimate position. I think there's probably an element of frustration with Phil Foden. He's dying to get into that midfield role. He doesn't want Do to be in the wing. He's ready to play midfield regularly. Huh? Do you think he's ready to play midfield regularly? I think he has to. I think with uh, the, the age in Gundogan and an, an unrestful uh, Bernardo Silva, I think we need to slot in Phil Foden. That's what I want to see, and I want to see it now. We saw the glimpses of it. We've seen the glimpses of it. Chelsea and other games too, where he sometimes drops in, and he's excellent. He's been learning for years off Kevin De Bruyne, David Silva, Pep Guardiola. He knows how to do it. He's ready, and that's what I think we're calling for. He, like I said, he's, he doesn't want to be chopping and changing with, with Mares or, or Grealish or Palmer. He wants to be in the middle of the park dictating the flow of play. So I get his frustrations. I don't think his performances have been as poor or as poor or below par as maybe you're suggesting, but he definitely can do more. I just think he's desperate to get into the middle of the park. And as regards to the getting on the back of players, I, I don't know. I don't think it's a thing of we're not as arrogant or we need to be more arrogant or we need to be more arrogant to be a proper big six club. No, I'm not, I'm just not saying you need just, to be. I'm saying just, that's just, just you're get just on the not... back of our players. Like especially like it's what Said and Gris said. We're appreciative of what they've given us so far. We've seen them have problems before. We've seen the manager have problems before, and we've seen them fix it before. So we've got full faith that when they go through a bad patch, it'll ultimately come good. We don't think they're finished because they go through a six-week bad spell. Support the no, player. Yeah, 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 no, I don't think he's saying that. That's not what we're saying. saying. That's, that's, not what I, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying you should call them finished. I'm saying that when Man City players, and it's not criticism just to Man City fans, it's a general observation of mine. When Man City players are going through poor form, it's never mentioned that they're going through poor form. But when other players are going through poor form, it's always mentioned. It's just analysing the game. When Man City are analysed, nobody really analyses when their players are playing poorly. That's all I was saying. It's the same, no, it's the same line that I gave you about Jack Grealish. And the thing is, I, I have no issue with you guys calling out players that you think are playing poor. But it's the same, the same drum I banged about Jack Grealish the whole time, which is why what I said was, when we're winning games and we're winning trophies, Pep must feel they're doing, something, they're doing what they need to be doing. And we're not going to get in the back of that. Maybe it'll change if the trophy flow slows down. I, I don't know. But to date, we have to be perfectly satisfied that when a problem arises or a player's not playing to the level we know they can, that it'll be fixed. It's just as simple as that. Are you still favourites for the for the Premier League, in your opinion? No. What if, I mean, no. If you, I still believe we okay, hang on. I still believe we can win it. Absolutely. There's 20 games to go. We to play Arsenal twice. I'm not counting us out for one second. I've seen us win leagues from, from tough positions before, but you'd have to give Arsenal the, the hot favour position right now simply for the fact that they're eight points clear. And like I said 20 minutes ago, they're moving like a steam train. But someone's got to stop that steam train. Someone's got to come along and do it. Will it be United? Will it be City? I don't know. There's a lot of football to be played, gentlemen. It's January. You, you've also got to win as well. You know what I mean? Not just City. City. City have got to build their form, man. You know what I mean? But I think I, I, uh, I have full faith we will build our form. That's just the hill I'm dying on right now. That's just it. I don't, I'm not counting us out. If you also want to go to the second layer of this conversation about criticism, right, it's also because their manager, let's be real, is a bigger name than the club, you know, and, and it's not to disrespect, but at all at most other clubs, apart from Tottenham, where they idolise Conte, there is that idolisation of Pep. That Conte isn't idolised by a fan base. 
You you did idolize him. You were yeah, me, but you're he saying apart from Tottenham Day, Conte isn't idolized by. Well, he was when he came in. It sounded it sounded from the way he was talking. It sounded like as if he was idolized. Yeah, me, now, me, not the fan base. Okay, me, maybe not the fan base. All right, but he's still bigger as well because he's very successful. But in terms of the rest of the clubs, they don't. They, these managers when they come in, they're not. They have to kind of like rise up. They kind of have to prove themselves. They kind of have to step up to the plate. Whereas Pep. Let's be real. Pep's not stepping up to nothing at City. Pep is is right now. He is City, and and everybody knows that he is the the the, the big dog, and he he calls the shots. So no one's gonna no one's gonna question too much what Pep's doing. Too over, like they might question little things, but it's never gonna be that deep because again, he's very successful. He's the best manager in the world, and he and he calls the shots. It's a different it's a different landscape. Can I can I just before I just want to wrap up this kind of derby talk. I think for me, just want to end it on Fred. Fred's masterclass, you know what I mean? Again, listen, it, it divides opinion, but the way he's stuck on De Bruyne, Rashford again, listen, this guy's having a season of his of his life. You know, unbelievable form, big games now, performing. Uh, Garnacho's impact, 18 years old. I think he's got four or five assists this season. 18, by the way, 18 years old. Please, what remember his name. Hey. Can you just can you just stop being petty? Let me just let me just you know what I mean. You're like just relax. You have a question. What, what about Anthony? Why are you have to do these low blows today? You're like that's what my style. I'm just same way that Grace asked the question. I'm just asking the question. Why going for Anthony? Why did the 18 year? Why did the 18 year old come on and have more impact than Anthony? Every day I've noticed. You know, on the big six, yeah. Every week we have to have a segment on Anthony. Like it's it's funny, isn't it? No, we don't. I'm just asking a question. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Time is of essence, so we have to move on. Um, (laughs) I have a question for you. Sure, and one more, one more, one more. Sure, as well. Sure, not even a centre back, guys. Yeah, and what an animal! Listen, what an animal to do that against and and play against Haaland, bro, and Varane. Listen. Aye, aye, aye. I just, I, I love this guy. Rolls Royce Varane. Yeah, go on, Hugh. All right, all right. I have a question for you. Are you in a title race now? Technically, we are, yeah. Doesn't mean we're going to win it. Okay. Okay. Newcastle in a title race. Doesn't mean we're going to win it. You hear that, Cams? Yo, Skull. I'm going to ask you that tomorrow as well, my yeah. guy. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. He just said that. He just said that they're, they're in the title race. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, we can get into the we can get into the <laughs> our, new, our new cast in the title race. No, we're taking it game by game. We have to move to Crystal Palace and then we'll see Arsenal after the Arsenal game. I will get giddy, you know. What I mean, there's a there's a the fra- phrase in Manchester called getting giddy. I will. Oh, if we, if we go to so that, you're saying you will get giddy, so that means you're guaranteeing a win, yeah. Well, listen, let's let me let's deal with Crystal Palace first of all. Let's deal with that one, <laughs> and then we we'll move on to Arsenal. We move on to Arsenal. I just can't wait. I, I well, I'm praying, I'm praying on Wednesday. Yeah, we win Wednesday, sorry, but I just want to humble Arsenal fans on Sunday. I just can't wait, man. Because I just have you, have you, have you looked yeah, in the mirror recently? Sorry? sorry, have you looked in the mirror recently? I have, man. I've got, I've got a, a big mirror down there. If you want me to go now, you know what I mean. It's up to you. <laughs> you, you know what? what? After, after, this, after this whole conversation, I, I, I take back. I don't want United to do us any favors, please, Turkish. You go and humble that guy, and oh then, and then I'll worry God. about it when we play you. You, you humble side, wow. please. So you're, so you're, so you're basically just, you know, what I mean, dismissing the title. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. That's that's, that's, the correct, that's, the that's the correct. That's the correct mindset. That's the correct mindset. Okay. Saeed does need humbling. I ain't gonna lie. What, what about you? What about you, Matisse? Who are you? I'm humble. I'm humble, but I'm, what, what, I'm what just you saying mean, you what, you could do with president? you could do with a little defeat. I'm not gonna lie. Just one. Just what's your president right now? What's your president? He's, right? getting getting season, season, season He's already giddy. He couldn't be my, more giddy. My season's almost over. My season's always over. Almost over. I'm just saying you could do you could do with a little just a little L. Just one. Just I'm not. I'm just confident. There's a reason I'm humble. Hold on a minute. I want to I want to differentiate. Being confident and being, you know, just happy about my club and then humbling. Like, I get it. We can get humble. But I'm just, I'm just happy as a Larry. No, you know what it is? You know what it is? What is it? Last Thursday was the last show. Me and Saeed both, you know, chest out, stuck our necks on the line. We yeah. got the whole spud me G and it, and it worked. In fact, what are you saying, Saeed? Spud me G? Listen, we're here. Spud me. Wow, you nah, don't spud you me. Think. You man are next, fam. Love the rehearsals, yeah. What's going on? Yes, <laughs> this time, my brother. Yeah, what the rehearsals? Are there? Okay, okay, okay. Like, you know that's love. funny, you know. That's funny. You man are next, he said. It's all love, okay. but you know what? I, I, tweeted, I, trust trust no one. I, I, I tweeted this morning, trust no one. Trust no yeah, one. Trust, you don't have to tweet. <laughs> trust, no one. <laughs> trust no one. It's mad. Trust no one. <laughs> 
this is the crazy is like I feel like this show has reached the the, the ultimate anti climax now. It's literally like you know that show on um, on BBC iPlayer, the traitors. This is the traitors now. We are literally the traitors. So <laughs> one of us is gonna is gonna stab each other in the back in a minute. Yo, it's mad. It's mad. <laughs> Nah, it's all love, my bro. Let's look at the super chats as well, because a fair few have come in on United City. Where are we? Where are we? Apart from Spurs, those United fans have that smug look. Makes me sick. It says sheets of metal. United beat Arsenal with Lukonga and no party. Lukonga starting is like having three reds. People will say excuses, but I'd rather start Arteta than him. 2-1 Arsenal. Listen, we'll save all of that for Friday show, people. Friday, 9pm. That's the big one. Arsenal United. Um, and yeah, Slim said the test now for United and Ten Hag to win a big game away, and it's beginning from next week. We will see the true colours of United. Listen, United have a chance to go three points clear by the time next Monday show. No, three points behind by the time next Monday show comes around. So, two big, big games for United. Stephen asks, is that backline good enough? Your centre backs usually keep the press and dominate from midfield. Plus, they don't let man through um, without getting clattered. I think that was on the conversation earlier. Um, oh, okay. Big up, Stephen. Turkish, when it comes to us, man, talk your ish. Also, Matisse, your FIFA team is horrible and don't try. Thanks for the super chat, me. <laughs> big, up, big up Matisse and what he's doing on FIFA, man. Make sure your man are subscribed. I'm a little bit worried, says Abdullah, about United. If we beat United, it will be fantastic for us. Saeed, we're coming for your neck. My brother, Mr. Humbler, What's wrong with Liverpool? We're going to ask him soon. Trust me, we're moving on to that one next. Fred is still outside the Brains house and one shot on target. Haaland who? Haaland dead. Hugh, hold that sunshine. Hold that. Man. Ryan says, man then, big up the panel and stream tonight. 12K numbers live watching. This is mad. Said absolutely cooked you, Hugh. I'm sorry. Flipping hell. Love for the love, Ryan. Shane says, Haaland makes City no better. Maybe even worse. Arsenal are great and capitalising on a transitional year for other top teams. Liverpool need the takeover to happen like last month. United got lucky, Shane says. <laughs> Away says, fan of Haaland. But is it time we start looking at him as a net negative for this City team? Numbers are crazy, but without the ball, they have 10 men. And Junior says, tell that robot of yours to hold that, Hugh. Manchester will always be red. We've seen it all. We've won the lot. We are Man United, bro. Chelsea said, my, myself, Chelsea Gray, sorry, myself and my partner love watching you. He's a Celtic fan and I'm a Rangers fan, but the only thing we can agree on is that we're both Spurs fans. That's 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 a sad story, but all right. <laughs> United fan, but Rashford was offside for our first goal. I don't care, Ten Hag tactically slapped Pep in the derby. How good is Shaw at centre-back isn't talked about? That isn't talked about enough. That's how you play a fullback at centre back. Pep, Fred also magnificent. Best game in a United shirt for me. And Big McTominay says that first half was the best football I've seen from United for a very long time. Harlan Ghost, De Bruyne Ghost, Foden Ghost, Bernardo Ghost. United will, will, capital will win the league. Interesting. De Bruyne wasn't a ghost when he spun Casemiro, was he? <laughs> X Force to say at the beginning of the season, DJ Khaled voice, they didn't believe in us. God did. We didn't just beat City, we actually shut them down. And Junior says, Cook this man, Saeed. Like Grizz says, football's a humbler. You will always be little city. All that pos possession and one chance. Yeah, love, man. Jason, man, you relax. I thought it's one game at a time. You have Crystal Palace. We'll chat Friday, my friends. We will. We will. Muz says Arsenal fans need to be humble. They've been brilliant, but the Red Army are in town Sunday. AR's asking, Hugh, apart from the weird Bruno goal, aren't you worried about the City defence? I think he's answered that already. We need a shot on target to concede. We need a shot on target to concede. Team cohesion looks off. Love the big six. Love for the super chat. And Ryan again. Hey, Saeed, you know about the traitors on BBC One? That's a good channel. Text, I'd be lying to you if I said I ain't worried about United, you know. Mm. Don't worry, man. Sunday, Friday, we'll talk. Let's we'll do talk. Wednesday first, like Crystal Palace, isn't it? Man? Yeah, we'll That's true. A couple games. On that note, listen, on that note, people, if I've missed your super chat, apologies, because we're nearly two hours in. We are going to do some overtime, but we're not going to do over overtime either. So let's get the predictions in, because Manchester City played Tottenham on Thursday. So let's start with that one. Both clubs lost their derbies on the weekend. We've just talked about both games. Man City are at home, so Hugh, kick us off with 
maybe brief thoughts and then a prediction, or maybe just go into prediction considering you've given your thoughts on the club already. Yeah, Spurs, Spur, it doesn't matter how bad Spurs are. They always seem to turn up against us. Um, ah, I still can't not back City. 2-1, two, 2-1 one, two, one City. 2-1 City. Saeed? Um, I don't know. It's a crazy one, man, because Tottenham do step it up. I'm going to go with City to win 3-1. Yeah. Grizz? 2-0. City. <clears throat> Two nil, Tobes. Um, two one, Man City. I'm not seeing you like this, man. Matisse. Um, three one, City. Yeah, three one. That's what I'm going with. Three one. Say back to you. Palace away Wednesday. Yeah, man. Listen, <sighs> Palace have not been great lately. Um, we should beat them. I'm gonna go with United to win. Two nil. Two nil, United. 2-0, Grizz. 2-1, United. 2-1, Tobes. Um, I'm going to go 1-0, Man United. 1-0, Matisse. Yeah, 1-0 as well. 1-0, 2-1, United for me, Hugh. Um, 2-0, United. 2-0. That's all the predictions in. And since we're on the subject, I'm going to quickly bring up the table. Saeed got a correct score in the Manchester derby. Everyone has got some points here and there. Here's how the table is looking. Oh, away, Jesus, man. Away, man. For the That's audio listeners on Apple, Spotify, all of that, Saeed's top 14 correct scores, 82 points. Matisse in second, 12 correct scores, 75 points. Hugh's got 10 correct He's on 72 points. I'm in fourth, seven correct, 71 points. Tobes has got nine correct scores, 69 points. And Grizz, bottom, seven correct scores, 67 points. So that's how the league table is looking. That's how the prediction league table is looking. Let me put that to the side. Let me make sure I've got the super chats to show on the screen. Actually, there was one here. Big up Real Ball Talk. My brother Turkish and the family. Amazing to see how you men are growing. 11K is legendary. We picked 12K, my brother, but I know what you mean. Keep it up. Special chemistry. Love. Brothers, come on, G. Come on. You know what it is already, my guy. You know, hope you and the family are well and everyone that takes part in the pod. Um, Let's move. Let's move. Um, We can talk. (laughs) Listen, losing 3 0 to Brighton is a bit of a mad one. So let's just go straight into that one. Tobes is smiling again. Things you love to see. Come on. Um, Grizz, how are you going to start this one off, mate? I need to go piss. So I'm going to turn off my camera. Yeah, yeah, me too. So let's. No, no, you you need to do your. No, no, no. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Come here. Come here. Come here. Want, I, no, but I, what I want to know, yeah, like, this is very, very unfair the way you guys have done this. Why? So you ask me why. So listen, it. you knew Love Island was on, yeah? So we started the show at 9pm, Love Island. You've got all the rubbish, low-life teams nobody cares about, nobody wants to see in the mud. Who Big dogs. Yeah, so you just waited. Love Island's finished. Peak viewing, 12.5k, big man show live. Everyone's saying, is Grizz going to get cooked? We want to hear Grizz get cooked. We want to get Grizz cooked. Like, people like pain. Like Toby messaged me earlier. Or message us earlier and saying people love to see pain. People love to see pain. I I, I fear for society these days. <laughs> we're gonna go on another. Do. We're gonna go on another really door in the exploring. I don't know what you're doing. I fear. I fear. I'm. I'm. We're not gonna let you do this. I'm we're not gonna let you do this. 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 I want to ask you a question. I'm here for you. I want to ask you a question. I'm here for you. Yeah, and I'm here for you. I want to ask you a question, brother. Let me talk. No, 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 no. Don't say let me talk. I'm going to ask you a question, then you can talk. It's my section. Nah, Tobes, let him talk about the game first. Let him talk about the game first. Nah, Huey, Huey. You're not talking about the game. No, 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 no. He's not talking about the game. He's dodging. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm worried about the state of society these days that people man, forget about the society, society man yeah. like, <laughs> we're talking about the environment we want to talk about today global is Jürgen Klopp 30,000 people Jürgen 30,000 people is it time to see pain yes or no 
13,000 people question. have tuned in to see is pain. Is the time up for Jurgen Klopp? Yes or no? Why is this, man? Why are you going to choose pain to see pain? Ah, nah, listen, let him nah. talk about the Brighton game, then we'll ask the question. He's not talking about the Brighton game, man. He's not talking about the Brighton game, man. He's not. I want to hear about the Brighton game, man. Here's the question. Okay, what's the question? Okay, what is the game? Okay, here's the question. Okay, here's the question. Okay, what is the game? A game is when two <laughs> yo, relax. Yo, no, 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 no. What is the game? What is the game? We have get, you got get, what is a game? We have what is a game? A game is when everybody rise, man. Everybody rise. We have jet, bro. Yo, no, 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 no. You ain't doing this. I'm not doing it. No, no, no. This is not doing this. All of you don't leave. All of you don't leave. All of you don't leave. We have And good tactics are special. Can you not all leave? Can you not all leave? You ain't doing this. You ain't doing leave. this. All of you don't leave. You, doing this. you nope, don't want to nope, hear me nope, leave. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Then show Levi respect. Then show respect. show respect. Trent getting rinsed by Mitoma. Show respect. Jürgen Klopp, tactically, me... just all Bro, over the shop. I didn't Answer say this much question. when it came to your turn. I didn't speak uh, this No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, because you, I you did not you speak did. this much. You know what you did? Yeah, and I'm speaking. Do you know what you did? You opened Pandora's box. Is this the Liverpool section or is this like just a... Just because my team are shit section, let's shit on other team section. Because that's what we're doing right now. When you asked me that nasty question about about Lloris... Oh, you got triggered by one question. Come as a bitch. One question. Come as a fucking bitch. No, 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 no. Come as a bitch. Talk to me about Liverpool. Stop telling me about, oh, the game and all this shit. Talk to me about Liverpool. Carry on, I've got sweet corn to eat. Talk to me about Liverpool. (laughs) Listen to me very carefully. You said talk about the game. Game is when two teams participate. We didn't participate. I'm getting to the point, brother! <laughs> Let him land, man. Let him land. <laughs> I said three hour show, innit? So I'm, 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 I'm listening. Chris, I'm listening, I'm man. Here, man. <laughs> You're taking a piss. I can't just talk football. I need to give context. Gakko. I want to talk about Waffle. Gakko as well. You can talk about anything you want on me here for you. Waffle. What am I Let here for? Talk, man. Let him talk. What I, I want to hear it at least. What am I here Gakko. for? Tell me what I'm here for. I'm here to listen in it and get beat up, mash up, cook up, marinate, everything. I'm here for that. So what oh, I'm saying is, can you just get point then? Can you get oh, man, points? if you just stop interrupting, innit? <laughs> so a game is when two teams participate. Liverpool did not participate. Liverpool were embarrassing. Liverpool was shambolic. It was boys against men. And so fuck the ownership, fuck investments, injuries, get the violins out. Um, midfielders, World Cup break, get all... St- what did you say, Tob? Stick it up your... Right? right? That was on Jurgen Klopp. No Liverpool team should be playing like they played on whatever day it was. I don't even remember what day it was. I don't know what not day is today. Liverpool have had that effect on me. I don't know what is life. Life is different for me right now. I don't know what time, what day... Where's Turkish? Yeah, yeah. One second, I'm going to end it right now, and then you're not going to talk. I'm going to go on mute. Where was I? Well, you said yeah. life's different. So, so, yeah, no, no, life's different because we were embarrassing. And so, none of those excuses, I've chucked them all in the bin. All them excuses, violence, everything, put them in the bin. That was the worst coached, hear me out. That was the worst coached performance I've ever seen under Jurgen Klopp. Worst coach performance. So, kill the players. 100. Kill the setup. 100. Kill the tactics. 100. But that was down to Jurgen Klopp and the coaches. They should be getting better out of these players. And if he's not, if he continues not to get the best out of them and we continue to finish out the top, I don't know, you look, tell me. Top six, eight, whilst the players are back, then 100% questions need to be asked about Jurgen Klopp. Facts. So where, where do you stand on Jurgen Klopp? I stand exactly where I've always stood. Once, but this is where the not is it like waiting for the team to be fit? Yeah, causation. Not, not excuses, causation. When four, at least three of our strikers are back, because at the moment we've got Mohamed Salah only. And mm-hmm. that's it. And Virgil's out for another few seasons. When we get at least a couple of our hitmen back and we continue to play dysfunctional football like we are now, then yeah, Tobes, I promise you, when you ask me, I will be more, more critical. I'm already critical. I've already sold. I've already said it's the worst coach performance under Jurgen Klopp's tenure, and that's on Jurgen Klopp. So I've already said that. Before would you, you say, ask would you not I'm agree saying, with that? I'm saying I've got patience, because just like Man City were talking about credit in the bank, my guy has got credit in the bank with me. Not for 100%. everyone else. People that want to get out, no problem. That's your opinion. Get him out. For me, he's got credit in the bank. But certain questions will be asked next, next season if things don't change. I think behind the scenes stuff doesn't help. Because we're going through an ownership change, and there's there needs to be clarity from the very top. There's no disorgan- there's total anarchy from top to bottom, and 
it's showing on the pitch because right now we're shambolic, embarrassing. Football is a humble up. That's me done. Monologue, speech, over. Hold on. Fire away. You, Wait, you hold said, on. You mean hold on? You I, said you have said Journey no, Salah. That's me done, bro. I'm out. You said no, no. You said Journey have Salah. That is incorrect. You have Gakpo. Gakpo is a new signing. He's up front. Are yeah. you mad? Are you, do, are you doing this? I want you is he, is he not your player? Are you mad or are you doing this? Which one? Are you? Are you? Are you also, oh, you're doing this, so you're not mad. Okay, so you're doing this. You're asking Gakpo, a young man, to come in and you're putting the pressure. He's twenty three. No, he's a, he's but answer. You can't, but you can't. Brother, like, brother doesn't you, know. Like he's playing. You can't act he's, like as if you're. That's you're his debut. You, you can't. You, he's that's his, his debut. debut. Premier League debut. Premier League season. Premier League. With, with PSG, played a game already. That's his you, Premier League debut. Okay, cool. You're, you're acting like as if you you don't. No, I'm not acting. I'm being real. You're acting like as if you didn't sign Gakpo. You're acting like Gakpo <laughs> didn't have a statistically <laughs> incredible season in the Adivisi, and you didn't just take him out of Saeed's um, notepad and and bring him into your team. And suddenly exactly. now Gakpo is irrelevant, right? It's just not even doesn't even exist. I'm not having that. That's that's you know what, you know what, Matisse. I think the, I think the biggest the, the the bigger indictment is obviously when Grizz. Fair enough is pointing to the fact that Jurgen Klopp has got. A lot of players missing, but Chelsea have a lot of players missing, and yet that ain't stopped you from slaughtering Chelsea. And second of all, um, Liverpool had their I'm attackers. Slaughter, at the I'm slaughtering as well. I'm slaughtering my own team as well. I'm not defending. Yeah, no, 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 in what any what way, shape, or form. But what I'm saying is the injuries have not really been a factor for you when you're analysing Chelsea, right? Um, and they have been, man. You never walk alone, me and Matisse, every time. Oh, really? They have never walked alone. So, every okay, time, cool. I'm in the stream. You're, you're, saying you're, saying you're, you're saying Jurgen Klopp, Klopp judging when the attackers are back. The attackers were fit, right? You said one question. You've asked me five. Move on. I didn't ask you a question. I didn't ask you, you a question. You asked me five questions. I'm about to ask you a question. Am I, I am a witness? You. What the fuck is this? Am no, no, no. I, no, I didn't ask you a question. Of? You can keep deflecting all you want. I'm not you deflecting. Said, I'm saying it's like... Said, you said when Jurgen Klopp... You said you're going to judge Jurgen Klopp when your attackers come back from injury. And I'm saying to you, you had most of your attackers fit at the start of the season, Bar Jota, and you were still stinking out the joint. So why are you... Why this much? It's worse. What do you mean it's worse? It's worse they now, should, bro. Brighton, Brighton should have destroyed, Brighton should have destroyed you at your ground at Anfield. Are we forgetting that performance at Anfield? No, not destroyed us. Are this you crazy? Destroyed. They had like four click up chances. Are in the you first crazy? Are you telling me about my team? I'm telling you today was last night was crazy or the other day. Bro. That was crazy. That was bro. an embarrassment. You need to pull up the stats, Grizz. No. I Can test, I man. <laughs> I was at both games. Do you want me to pull Can up I the stats? So, I was so, at both on. games. I don't you, need you, stats. So what we're concluding is, is that because concluding, yeah, because you don't have Chamberlain. No, no, no. Sorry, because Chamberlain. Gakpo, no, no, no. Concluding. Because Chamberlain. Because Chamberlain, Gakpo, and Salah was your front three. Oh, what, a, what an awful front three to have, right? Wait, that's wait, wait, why. That's saying... why. That's why you conceded four goals and were done in transition time and time and time again. And nothing did your manager do. I think you lost four goals. I nothing think did your PTSD. Yeah, think we you lost. We goals. lost one hundred percent. And we got cooked. We, and we nothing, training, nothing yeah. did your manager do to change that. And be Idiot, more man. structurally aware and be more compact. And maybe remember when I suggested the three at the back? Let's let's mm. talk about it. Because because Trent and Robertson are going forward anyway on that goal, that goal that you conceded, right? So why why can't we have some um, versatility here? What no, is no. it with what is He's it with it. managers and being right so stubborn? Conte All great and managers Klopp. have a period Conte and where, Klopp they go, this weekend. where they go mad. This is his yeah, period of going mad. I hope right. over it. Conte and Klopp this weekend, so 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 stubborn. stubborn. Like, mm. you need to get results, right? So let's be flexible. Let's try to be a little bit, you know, let's try to stop shit from happening, escalating. I don't can get I, it. Can I come over there with you lot? Can I come over there with you lot and cuss Liverpool? I want to cuss Liverpool as well. I want to be there. <laughs> can I interject as well? I, I think I need my little piece of the party, man. I think this is this is lovely at the minute. You know what I mean? I'm enjoying this thoroughly. And Grizz, can I, can I just ask you a quick question? Are you I'm going to ask very quickly. I'm not going to respond to any of your points, but I'm going to listen. No, no, you, you can't do that because that's the name, of the, game, that? the, the name of the right game. I have the right to keep quiet. I have the right to keep silent. No comment. Well, yeah. listen, you have to give me... Uh, but I'm here uh, to listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slap me, slap me. Are you still finishing a boss, United? You still finishing United? United? Yeah. <laughs> no, are you, are you finishing in the top four? That, are you finishing in the top four? Yeah, I've got to say that, yeah. I'm not giving up on top no, four. You know, but we I, know had little... I know it's looking, it's looking bleak, it's looking peak, and I look delusional and sound delusional. But this is what support is, people. In it, you have to support your team. You don't have to, you know, praise them. You don't have to praise them. Front line, you take it. Front line. Say, remember front line, brother. Come on, front line. No, no but I get front line. Front I understand. Line. Yeah, so line. I've got to support my team in it. I think we need I to. Get that. Before, yeah, I but you can still be honest. You can still be honest about your team. You can still be honest. Have, have I not been honest? What have I said? Well, so do you That's honestly, do you honestly think you're going to get top four? I think we're not out of it. 
Mm. That's Who's coming everyone to that. You know, mathematically, you're not out of it. I get that. Who's place it, could you take? Out of it. Really out of it. You know what I mean? It's, it's Chelsea not out of it. You know, it's not hard, is it? But I just we want to ask you a question. We are out of it. No, Chelsea oh, out of it. Is, is, is he out of it? Is that what Todd Bowles thinks? It's funny because we're level on points with Liverpool. But they're hitting we're out of it, so it's mad. I'm front nine, innit? I'm not. I'm supporting my team. Can I ask a question? The other one is Klopp. You know what I mean? Tactically, yeah. Do you think he's done tactically? You know what I mean? In terms of the magic of Klopp. yeah, that yeah, Saturday he was. No, do you think in general, like because I'm looking no. at him. No, you don't no, you don't generally. feel like he's lost his touch, his magic. I don't think he's ever been great person. tactically. I don't think he's ever been great tactically. I don't think ta being tactically, I don't think he's as good as nowhere near as good as Pep, for example, tactically. I think I think tactics is not his great, great point. So mm. you know what about, what about, yeah. um, he needs to improve in it. Get get better, son. Get better. And do you think there's a yeah. genuine reality now to the seven season syndrome thing with Jurgen Klopp? Uh, pff, only time will tell. Here we are. I think it's a more. I think there is something in terms of. It's not a seven year curse or whatever. I think it's just a natural loyal base of loyalty that he works towards. So he gets a group of players and sticks with them for five six years, and then struggles to dismantle it and do it again. So therefore, if that lasts six seven years, it's seen as seven years. So I, I believe there is something there. Um, and it's his, it's his strength and it's his weakness as well, his loyalty and his, you know, makes people run through brick walls for him. And that's what I'm ready to do now. I'm, at the moment, I'm looking like an absolute delusional dickhead, but I still think we're going to do top four. This is what Klopp does to you. Mm. Uh, I, listen, believe, I, think I believe. Problem. You believe, but I think the belief is not strong, man. I know, and but I, I don't think, I don't think, I think, I, th I don't think it's, of course there's problems. Of course there's issues. There's mad issues and there's problems. And it's right from the top. We need clarity. We need new owners. We need a new sporting director. You've got to remember, we ain't got a sporting director. I used to big up and praise Liverpool's organisation, structural strength, everything from the top to bottom. I used to praise it. So I'm going to equally cuss it now. We've got no owners right now. They don't know what, if, whether they're coming or going. We ain't got a sporting director. A couple of analytics team will have left. The doctors left. And players are out of contract at the end of the season. Three or four of them. So yes, there's a hell of things to do. 100%. Ain't easy, Chris. I can't. I can't lie. Yeah. Um, like I've been quite bullish on your top four hopes because I just feel like it's Liverpool, right? It's you, Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp, the attack. They have to get top four. But every single, as every week goes by, your performances just stay the same. Chance worse, worse, like, get worse. Not worse, get worse, yeah, sorry, they're, they're getting, they're getting worse. And I'm like, I'm like, it was like this with Van Dijk. It's like this without Van Dijk. It was like this with Nunes. It was like it's like this without Nunes. It was like this with Firmino. It was it's like this without Firmino. Like you're just way too easy to play against. And like you said, Jurgen Klopp, he doesn't really do anything to make you harder to beat at the moment. Mm. So I'm just thinking, if you keep leaking goals the way you you are and letting teams beat you the way you are, I'm really starting to have doubts that you guys are going to make top four because when I look at you and I look at Newcastle, for instance, now, of course, you've got the quality and star power, but they're way harder to beat than you. 100%. They're way harder to beat than you. I can't see. Look, and, and I, I don't see them dropping. They're playing one game a week. I don't expect back. I don't expect anyone so, to think Liverpool can make the top four and, and they're justified in their thoughts. I'm just being a supporter and, you know, supporters get giddy or they don't give up on their teams. So I'm not ready to give up, but I don't see it. I agree with you. It's very we're looking awful. But you know, and I feel like it's last season, and sometimes you just have to accept it. You know what I mean? There's an acceptance. You felt like what? You felt like what last season? I felt like you know, <laughs> you know, you know you did, the road was bleak. Sometimes you have to accept. Well, at what point? At what point did you? Like, at what point did you think that? Which trophy that we were? When did you think that last season? At what stage? I don't know about United. In general, the team and the way it's kind of United going, or Liverpool. Uh, United. Oh, I beg your pardon. I thought you felt. I'm so sorry. My bad. My bad. I thought you said Liverpool. I thought you felt. You saw it last season with Liverpool. No, 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 no. Last season, yeah. last season you were going for. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You've seen it for a few years. Now, still, you, so you, you, it, you, that's why I'm. On, listen. That's yeah, why I said I'm only going to listen to you because you're a man of experience. You've yeah. seen this for the last. So you need to take the advice. Five, six years. Yeah, you've you need seen to this. Take the advice, you, you, you was going into games where you didn't know how you're going to win a game of football. I'm there. Yeah, I'm right there. So please, yeah. so if you need my handbook, just let me know. Now give yeah. me therapy, therapy. I'm here to listen. Yeah, this yeah, one I said, I don't want to I don't want to answer you, I want to listen to you because you're a man from talking from experience. Yeah, I know we've finished. Yeah. <laughs> ah, cool. Um, there is some super chats here. Tob, you done on that subject? Because you, you look eager to Tob, ask seven question, man. Are you doing this on purpose as well, bro? Like, oh, one no, more question. Yeah, true, um, why did why did Gomez get spun by Danny Warbeck like that? 
Because Gomez <laughs> not Gomez not good Daniel for him. Well, he made him look like Pele. That was Pele. 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 And why did Matoma snatch? That Pele scored. Why did Matoma snatch Trent's, Trent's dreads out of his head when he ripped him from pillar to post? Uh, these are just personal attacks on players. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not here for that. This is childish talk. You know I don't do childish. Not childish. Matoma, Matoma ran him ragged. What are you talking about? I I thought you got Matoma. They, there's not a player that didn't run us ragged. Every single one was. Mm. Was peak peak Brazil out there watching Brighton? We made them look peak Brazil, uh, but they are. Can we put some credit on Brighton? Yeah, let's put some credit on Brighton, man, because yeah. quickly. Yeah, good be showing. Levi Colwell, listen, listen, Levi Colwell, make a space in that squad. If you have to, you know, humble yourself and take the massive L on Kulabali, then make it so. But you have to find a spot for Levi Colwell, man. I was big in this guy up last summer. We almost sold him. We almost sold him. Um. And I was fighting two for now to say, please do not sell this guy. Just loan him or do something to keep him because he is, he is for me, ever since championship rising up through the ranks, he, you can see he's built like a house, man. And a guy, he's got like a Saliba type frame, but then he can, he's ball playing as well. Like he's very much that type yeah. of defender. Um, and for me, I just think, listen, I know we've signed a lot of players, but when I believe in a certain young player, Reese James, now Levi Cole, I have, I have my favourites and, when I when I can see talent for me, I have to I have to say there's nobody right now you go and buy without giving that guy a chance. I don't care who it is. Go and make sure you give him a spot and and at least let him fight for his place, man. Because he's he's really really good. He's left footed. Yeah, he is left footed, man. I think I really like him. Really, him and Baddy is here fighting for one spot. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine, man. That's that's what good that's what good squads need. You need depth. True. You no, know, if you wanna if you wanna if we need to step up next season and we God forbid we won't be playing in too many European competition, but you know, you, you still need you need quality, man. So I'm I'm fine with that. As long as he's in the squad, I'm happy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get a little bit super tight. Yeah, yeah. big, 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 big up big big up Evan Ferguson too. Came through the system at my local club here in Dublin. He's bursting onto the scene. Hopefully yeah. he can revive the Irish good, national team. Yeah, too. He's, he's a good. serious talent. I watched him play against Chelsea when he was 15 years old in a friendly game in Dalyman Park here in Dublin. And he was built was you like at that a game? man. What? Was you at that game? I was at that game. I was at that, I was at that, yeah, Frank Lampard, all them. Um, yeah. He was, he was built like a man at 15 years old. Years. And he's playing like a man at 18 years old in the Premier League. I think he's, he's got a goal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's from Dublin. He's got a goal or assist in every single game he's played for Brighton now, first team level. He's bursting onto the scene and I hope it, comes, I hope it keeps coming. Big up, yeah, man. Big up, man. Grizz, some just just a handful of super chats for Liverpool. You ever consider getting into politics? Deflect master says Sam, and we have one. My younger brother, my younger brother is in politics, and so is my father. So it does run in the gene. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Says FSG out. Clock in. Focus on the ownership. Barry is saying Gakpo is a young man coming into the Premier League, whereas Anthony has already scored six goals. But Grizz still rips him every time. Allow it. You're allowed. <laughs> Just what? <watching. laughs> <laughs> Grizz. Grizz, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Violent, <laughs> violent response. Uh, Grizz is the best man. I swear. To Very you, violent. <laughs> no, man. Grizz, relax, man. Grizz. We're in the revenue, man. We're in the revenue. <laughs> Why does Gatpo get a pass when Diaz hit the ground running, doing bits last year? Did you need him, or is the club leadership and recruitment cooked? Mm. It's not great. I want to say it's cooked. Yeah, they've got a chance to redeem themselves in the next window in the summer. Some, it's a huge summer of rebuild. So I wouldn't say cooked yet, but yeah, it's not the same. True. Nothing lasts in it. Good it time. You know. Is that Ed, Edwards leaving? Is that Edwards leaving? Hundred and, and and Julian Ward not being respected and the analytics team not being respected. But let's mm. see what we got ready for a summer. Mm. Dan says, Grizz, bro, United are going through an ownership change. They've never had a director of football behind the scenes a mess, and they're still performing. No excuse, in my opinion. Yeah, the key word, your opinion, isn't it? And Jerome, this one came in really early and I've actually got it saved. Um, this one came in at quarter past nine. It's now half past 11. But big up Jerome. Half of this super chat is for Grizz for some chocolate. The rest is for Chelsea and Tottenham for toilet paper because they're totally shit. Yeah, big up Jerome. He, he regularly sends me super chats for chocolate for my pain and distress because every time he sends me a super chat, I say, I'm going to have a chocolate on you. <laughs> so man's making me yeah put all that weight on again, man. Big up. <laughs> Uh, cool. Liverpool super chats done. I've got some Chelsea ones. I'll save that for when Matisse finishes his talk on Chelsea. Mudrick signed out of nowhere Saturday. Madness. 
one nil win as well. Um, first win in a little while. What are you saying? Everything's turning around over there, or nah, nah, nah. Listen, it's um still long season, man. Um, we take our three points. We thank we thank the higher powers for our three points. We haven't had um a win in a long time. We're still chasing that forty point mark. Four wins to go. And um, once I know we're safe in this division and we're participating again next year with all of you, then we go from there. So I'm just um, hoping and praying for another four wins and very humbled. Um, in, re in relation to Mudrik, um, he doesn't seem very happy to be here. But um, yeah, listen, fix your face because welcome to Chelsea. You know, we have stolen, <laughs> we have stolen you. Do you know what I mean? We put, we put you on the plane. We showed you the money and here you are. Do you know what I mean? So listen, whether you want to play for Arsenal or not, it's going to be a slow, um, slow friendship that will grow um, as the season goes on. You know, a, a masterclass at Anfield against Trent maybe would help, help really keep things going. And yeah, man, listen, he, he, we, I know he's not our preference, do you know what I mean? But, you know, we stole him. So it is what it is. We put him on an eight year contract. It's like a prison sentence, to be honest. It's brilliant. Man. It's mad. Um, it's but, you know, pay, pay and don't speak. Do you know what I mean? That's what it is about. So how much yeah, did you man. actually give him in the end? I don't know, man. He was making three or four k a week, and we definitely we blew that right out the water. So that is two fifty k, I think. No, no, no! Don't do that! Don't do that! You're lying. That's that's a bad lie. You see, you that's cheeky. He's an old Two fifty k, really? Where'd you read that? Where's your well, source? I've been, I've been reading. You know, I've been in the in the Chelsea. I've been state. reading. <laughs> You are a liar. You are a liar. You are actress. Todd Bowl has been in that space to confirm it. You know what I mean? Were you in that space? By the way, I think it might be 100, 150. I don't know. Listen, I'm not sure. I need to. I need to wait for it to to come out. I haven't seen report of it yet, but it's not 250. I'll tell you that. For me though, Matisse, outside looking in, yeah, I I can't. This has to catch up to you, man. Don't you get that feeling as well that this this spending has to catch up? And I don't mean on the pitch but I mean off the pitch with, with FIFA and UEFA FFP and all of this I, stuff I, 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 so when I initially heard the news 100 million euros I said outright you know I thought that was a flat fee they're paying it immediately cool I was like what's going on but then when it's been you know relayed more details have come out it seems like it's it's initially uh, 62 million and then it's add-ons um, de depending on Premier League win Champions League win over the next eight years of his contract um, and it looks like we're handing out these long-term contracts to kind of, you know, stagnate the payments across um, and, and to comply with FFP. So from everyone that kind of speaks on financials in football, we're not we're not in trouble or, or you know, near FFP. Um, Roman, when when the owner came in, said you need to spend 100, sorry, you need to spend 1.5 billion. That's that's a requirement for you to be a contender, because remember, there was loads of bidders. So we, we we narrowed it down by saying you have to invest into the club. You can't come in here and take out dividends like, you know, Manchester United with the Glazers. There's certain things that they have to do in the first five years or whatever to keep the club competitive and whatnot. Um, so when it comes down to us, you don't have to worry because if we were, first of all, breaking FFP, which Todd knows about and Chelsea know about, so they're not going to do that on purpose and miss Champions League and whatever, we will be banned. It, you know, it's not like... Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, you're... We, you're we, we don't get away with it. It's not, it's not Man City. You know what I mean? Like, when we... You've when been, we, we, we always take our punishment. So, you know. <laughs> you've been, you've been, you've been burnt way too many times to go down that route and you've all got it sussed and, and, and you know I mean? You know how to do the books. I'm not even worried about that part. You're going to do what you need to do. <clears throat> From the Potter's point of view, though, mm. if we just, like, just top of our head go through some of the players that you've got now in your books and when, when they come back, can I ask, there's an open question, guys. Like, how is a coach supposed to manage 30 plus players sales. like this? Sales, bro. Have to get rid of players. It's mad, isn't it? Because yeah, this is what I mean. This is what I mean about the scattergun approach. This is what I mean. It's like, what have what has the new owners done different? In fact, they've probably gone mad and done it worse. Like, you've literally got 30 plus players, all all probably on 100 k minimum, minimum. Right, and how does Wayne Potter manage a squad like this? How does he do this? The he doesn't, man he doesn't manage. He doesn't manage it. He 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 wants to sell players. He mm. knows what players he would probably like. registered players. He probably, how do you, he, he how do you manage to sell those players if if they're on big wages and other teams don't come in with the offers? But they've tried to sell ZH. They've tried to sell. Well, the they've yeah. tried to sell quite a few players this season. They weren't able to. I'm I read today they're trying to sell Sterling. I read today they're trying to sell Sterling already. They're open to offers. 
So I've read that. I've read that as well. So, what about so, the Lukaku one? What about Lukaku? Is he hold on, back? Is how he... many questions? Can we do one at a time? One at a time. No, so, but this, 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 now you know, innit? Is... Yeah, I know. Okay. Now it gets you seven questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you know, innit? See what you know, happens. See what happens, what happens when you're in the mud and what I have to deal with. Listen, for a I'm fine. Years I'm at the back end of the show. Everybody's tired. Barely people are listening. It's fine. This is fine. Easy. Let me let me let me get let me keep picking up some hopefully little boring results and keep this keep me at the back back of the back of the newspaper. Um. So, listen, we have obviously, what, 10, 11 injuries, right? We have a whole 11 injured. So we can't actually go too heavy on selling players because you say we have a lot of players, yes. But right now, <laughs> half the team is injured. So we can't overdo it with the sales. Although I agree with you, I would... It's impossible to manage. There's too many personalities. There's too many, you know, different roles and responsibilities. And I would rather us actually have a, a clear out, as try to have a clear out and actually have a thin squad because... You know, Europe, we're not really going too far, in my opinion. Next season, we're not we're not going to make the Champions League. So I'd rather have a thin squad um, and build it from there and, and get the average age of the squad down. But I think I think Potter definitely knows who he wants to get rid of. I think the difficulty in getting rid of them, 100%, is down to wages and whatnot. Um, and maybe trying to recoup. But I don't think we're going to be as hell-bent on recouping money like Marina was. So I've said it to you, on I said it on the last show, you know, the, the, the transfer window... In the summer and the transfer window now need to be looked at differently. I think if you don't at least draw a line in between the windows, I think you're taking it out of context. I think a lot of people on the panel, when they have their takeovers, are going to learn that lesson very quickly when you have your takeovers and they come in, especially if they rip up the entire structure like we did, but it probably won't. Um, last summer was about replenishing what we lost in terms of senior players. This this January transfer window is, is about under 23s. And if you look at who we're targeting, there's not a single player that's over the age of 23. Literally, all of them are young. So I can see what they want to do. Whether or not, you know, it's all going to come together, we have to wait and see. They can't afford to make any more mistakes. We've had so many high value flops. It's kind of like Man United when they were having poor windows and then they got it together on the Ten Hag. We have to get it together right now. We, ha we can't afford any more flops. So Mudrik has to bang. You know, the new centre-back from Monaco, Badishaley, has to bang. All of these all of these signings from January onwards have to bang because even already in the summer, like Hugh said, we're talking about Sterling, etc. So they have to they have to make sure that that recruitment team that they put together get everything right. So that's, that's the story of it. But we need to make sales. And with Lukaku, I have no idea what they're going to do with him, but <laughs> we're going to wait. We're going to find out. Do you know what I mean? Fuck around, you find out. That's what they say, innit? <laughs> you might like yeah, him. Yeah, no, no, no. More than you can believe, I tell you now. No, 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 no. Lukaku, so Pot won't like Lukaku, man. No, he, he was, he's not allowed to like Lukaku. <laughs> but <laughs> the, <laughs> these situations can happen. No, no, more than you can believe. He cannot, he cannot like him. He has to get rid of him. It's not an option. <laughs> Genuinely, <laughs> it's not an option. You're, you're already yeah. not in, like, you're already yeah. not, like, a fan favourite in terms of you haven't got the... The, the, you know, the whole Conte, Tuchel, you know, Jose Mourinho. Don't, don't go and make it worse now by keeping Lukaku. Listen, we are, we are just trying to, you know, we're trying to warm up to you. Don't, don't, don't take the piss now. Don't take the piss. Mm. Now we draw the line there. No, no Lukaku. We're finished. Okay. Yeah. You can have him. If, you can join him back for the second time. Uh, we don't want him. No. You sure? You need a striker, you said. No, no, we, we, we're good, man. We're getting the uh, Osman in the summer, hopefully. You did a Felix watch with the eye emojis and you didn't get him. So is that the same thing? How much, you, how much are you putting down for Osman? You like, remember Saeed? Do you remember Saeed? Saeed, you remember? You're from Nigeria, innit? So big up to Osman, innit? Yeah, 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 you're going to pay Di Laurentiis his, um, like, 100, 120 odd million or whatever. Yeah, man. Listen, we're, we're getting it. When we get it, Arab yeah. money, you know what I mean? Victor Osman, that's my number one striker. Mm. So when? Big, so big, can I just, can I, I just, can 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 I just, so when so, so can I just can I just can I just clarify right I'd like to take everybody's statements now just before the Arab money comes in if the Arab money does come into your clubs and you say shell out 300 is everybody cool with that we're not going to have any hypocrisy on this panel are we it has to be structured though with the way you're going on it's what do you mean like, oh so it has to suit your agenda oh, okay no, it's not about suiting agenda though it would be mm. a structured way you're just he's just playing whatever he wants he's in spaces he's he's finding out transfers through your spaces basically that's that's gross misconduct Yes, gross misconduct, man. That That's not gross misconduct. We don't even how's, know if it was actually him. Let's be real. How's, how's man? How's man in spaces? Bro, it was his account. What it could have been. Who's good? You had some ta Chelsea Tactico saying, "Yeah, this brother's good. He's got the stats are sick," and he was making notes. You had Todd Bowley on the other side making notes and looking for his transfer targets in Chelsea spaces with, with shout out, big up monster and them man. 
Like you, what the you fuck guys, is your you plan? guys, you guys always it's complain. Ridiculous, man. You guys always <laughs> complain that your owners don't care. The Glazers are never given a shit. The Cronkies are never given a shit. The mm. FSG, I don't he's know. Learning, he's learning. He's learning the game on Mark, your watch. What's, what's his name? Not Mark exactly. Henry. What's it? What's his name? Not Mark Henry. What's his name? Was making that like, Instagram video after the Super League, sitting there reading off a teleprompter, and, and now you want to cuss my speak. owner for trying, yeah? No, but no, see, no, see, it don't really no, make how sense. Do you feel, how no, do you feel that he's learning? Job I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed, Listen Listen bro. Come on, we all know we're not silly. We're all very smart individuals. Come on, you really think he's listening to people in spaces, right? 15, 16, yeah. 17, whatever yeah, he year olds. He no, he's not, bro. He, he, yeah, he's he might be in the space, and probably his account, not actually him on it, because I'm sure he's much more busy than that. But even if he was, I don't know, bro. Even if even if he was, no, even no if he was sporting director, so he's no one else to listen to. He may as even well if, listen to the fans. Basis. No, no, he does have, he does have, he does have um, <laughs> recruitment team. With you. It, it, even if he was listening, he's going to listen to the the new recruitment team that he's paying a whole heap of money that just come into the club a lot more than some fans who are saying, "Oh, can we buy Enzo? Can we buy?" Come on, let's not be silly. Let's not be silly. Now. How is that we, don't have, silly? we don't have, we don't have, time that's for not being silly. It's we don't have time for words. Silly. That's actually we don't have time for carefully. Todd's yeah. definitely watching this stream, so. Well, in it, he's watching the stream right now. Yeah. Oh, you want access? Yeah. 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 access? You want to yeah. know? Well, we know we know Daniel Levy definitely isn't, isn't it? Because you, yeah, he's you, definitely not. Yeah, because yeah, you, you guys can ask for whatever you want over there, and you ain't gonna get jack shit. So hold that. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what you're trying to do here. Get your I'll money make up. You, make you hold that, innit? Get your money up, man. Get okay, your cool. Money. <laughs> I really <laughs> hope Mudrick is a success for your sake. <laughs> I really do. More than you can believe. Is he? Is he the new one-on-one demon? Yes, trust me. Oh, if, exactly. if, if her, you want to speak on it, you want to speak on if, it. If he's a, he's, he is a one v one demon, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he looks cold, but he is. I don't know what else he can do, but he's definitely a one v one. He looks going. cold. Oh yeah, I'm giving. I'm passed on the tag, even as a I general. Said I rate him. So yeah, I if Homelander, if Homelander two point does not come in and bang, <laughs> yo. Yo, I want the same energy as Anthony. <laughs> it's peak for you. Wait, it's peak. I want the same energy as Anthony. But this, you know what's this, funny? Do you know what's funny, though? Do you know what's funny? You gassed up Anthony. You come on shamelessly and gassed up Gakpo. Did you? No, actually, no, you didn't. You didn't actually. No, I didn't. I didn't. Gakpo. I haven't yeah. gassed up Mudrik. I, Mudrik was a matter. Turkish Arsenal doesn't doesn't I haven't it gassed up matter. Mudrik. I didn't it even want matter. Mudrik. You can't escape. Him. You can't escape. You ain't going to escape. I didn't even want him. I didn't want him. You ain't going to escape. To be fair, for what it's worth, I think he's going to bang for Chelsea. But if he doesn't bang, oh, Lord. Look, I didn't even want him. Like you didn't I, want Sterling. I don't even know who he is. Who did you want at Chelsea? Who did you want at Chelsea? You didn't want I Sterling. I, don't even, I swear this. I don't even know who he is. I so swear. which so which signing do you think? Look, look, we need to get something out of you. Which Kuka's signing? Come, by the way. And which Kuka's signing do you really rate and look forward to out of the 15, 16 that you've made? <laughs> Um, no, no, I do look forward to um, all of the signings. To be honest, we've made in this window. I am excited yeah. about, like, intrigued is the name point. them. Mudrik, I, listen, I'm I'm very intrigued to see what Mudrik does. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't want him. I didn't want him. I don't. I don't know him. I don't know him, Grizz. Grizz is like you. He wanted, he Arsenal fans wanted him. Why would I? Why would I be tracking and? Okay, so who? I was, watching, I was watching your stream on Friday. No, I didn't. Saturday, I didn't even like, know we were in for him. I didn't <laughs> even know we were in for him. Who you so, got hopes for? Who you got like excited to see at the signing? Uh, Arsenal really fans were, if anything, Arsenal fans were the one hyping him up. Arsenal fans, he better fucking bang. Brother, <laughs> they ain't I'm me, asking, it's you. Bro, I'm I'm asking, you I really don't know him either, bro. Bang. No, I'm asking you a very either. simple. I'm asking you a very <laughs> simple. <laughs> 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 Arsenal fans, he better bang, you know. Guys, guys, bang. why are you letting him deflect now? Let me I don't know that guy. Arsenal fans, he better bang. Let me land. I'm just using the Grizz tactics, man. He better bang. Okay, so listen, Matisse. No matter what, to Arsenal comps I saw. You're the Chelsea rep right here, yeah. Better You're bang. the Chelsea rep, rep right here. I know you're not in the big six right now, in the top six, wherever you're Neither you are you. Six. You're not in ninth. I know, I know. I know. But what I'm saying is, you're you not having a bid off. You need, to, you, need to, you need to give us some insight into some of your signings because we can't keep up. Give us two players out of the 15, 16 that you've bought who are you're really looking forward to and give us some, some of their strengths. So we know because it's, it's a madness. We don't know who you've signed, who's coming, who's going. Actually, no one's going, everyone's just coming. But Give us some insight into two well, players that you're looking forward to. Well, star Jao, signings, star Jao, buys. Jao Felix, I, I have always okay. rated from Benfica, from Benfica yeah. days. And I think what, Simi, what Simeone did to him was a criminal offence. So I'm excited about him, right? Okay. What, what's what's oh. this? What? What? What was that? Let him land, Tobes, man. Mm. Broke. Broke team. Anyway. Um, so... <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing that now. I'm embracing this shit. Um, <laughs> so Felix is one. Um, now, funnily enough, the recruitment for Badia Shady and for, for Mudrik, these are unknown quantities. Like they're scouted. They're players that have gone under the radar. They haven't played many games in the Ukrainian league. They haven't. I've, you know, they're not in the French national team. So I don't know these two like the back of my hand. So I'm excited. I'm intrigued. But I don't know these two. I don't watch them week in, week out. So from from what I'm hearing, they sound like good talents. Let's see what happens. So I can't give them my my you go know, ahead. But it's a good you know start cussed, the weekend you know as well. How, he played very well. Badia Shady he played very well. You so, know how I cussed Kulibali and all that, and I said he's not right for you. Wherever it's yeah. an awful signing. It's the opposite, bro. It balanced out with Babamian. I can't lie. One more. You got you got yourself a gem in Badia Shule. You got yourself Hopefully, a gem. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He looks good. He looked, he started well, but it's a, it's one game, so yeah, yeah. um, so let's see. Um, and then who else is? I mean, the summer window. That's still, enough. That's enough. We don't want to know anymore. You don't want to know what? about the summer. Mad, yeah. no, no. Just that's to round enough. it off. You know what's yeah. mad? In Cuckoo, yeah. In Cuckoo's there as well. Imagine Felix. No, we right. don't want to know. We don't want to know. Well, sure. did you want in Cuckoo? Right. You did, didn't you, Grizz? Yeah, I, that's why I don't want to know when it's hurting. Yeah, Cuckoo's yeah. good, but it, you know what? It all depends on how we use these players. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? How many Felix come to Chelsea? Class. Huh? Say Felix does well in the last yeah. couple of games. Yeah, Todd Bowley just decides he wants him, and he has that affection with Chelsea, mm. and he loves the football club. Yeah, would you take him, Felix, on on a permanent? Oh, I love. Uh, listen, if Felix can bang at Chelsea, that will be one of the best things that can happen for me because I love Felix in terms of the player. And listen, for me, that's 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 the perfect perfect situation. So, like I said, for, the, the reason why I was like hesitant on him coming to us is because we ruin attackers. Do you know what I'm saying? I want Felix to go and have a good career, genuinely. I actually want him to get out of Atletico Madrid and have a good career. So if he actually does well for us, I'll be over the moon. You, you will see me, mm. you know, Felix back. I'll be swinging in the car park, mate. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll yeah, be doing. Yeah, yeah. I'll be all of that. So yeah, uh, Felix is the big one for me. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm praying. That's gonna be mad. Felix and Kukwa, Mudrik, front three. Yeah, you're gonna cost yeah. you a pretty penny, but you got that right. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. We got that. We got that money. Oh, midfield, so. man. Midfield, where, man. Where, where does poor old Sterling fit into that then? What's, what do you think they're? Well, I'm hearing today? that you guys want him back after rubbing him out. I'm seeing um, streams are going up and they're like, should, him back. should, we, should him we get back. Sterling back? And I'm like, what, where's, where's this question coming from? This is, a, this is a Man City. He's not even a legend. He's not even a legend. He's, he's, he's awful. He's now. So I, I did a video about it. I uploaded a video about that just before we went live. Go check it out. Well, do you want him? Do you want him back? Well, it's funny you ask because I said just before we lost him. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. 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 Oh, don't, don't go anywhere. anywhere. You don't see. Don't, don't go anywhere. Don't, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Please put him on the full screen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you put him on a jumbo jet? Oh, jumbo yeah, jumbo. Man, you need to put him on the full screen. I want you to you tell everybody. See, no, no, no. Let me, let me, let me narrate. Let me, let me narrate. After all that slander, he's Isn't not it? signing the, the show. Chelsea legend. He's not a legend. He doesn't mean anything. We can dispose of him like. Like anything, we don't need really him. This is an upgrade. We don't need, who cares anything. about the service? Who Sterling cares? doesn't. Sterling doesn't smile. He doesn't hug me in the hotel lift. He doesn't, he doesn't. Doing doing right with with he doesn't celebrate with the fans. He doesn't celebrate with the fans. I don't need oh, Sterling. Why not t-shirts after What's going on? Talking. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that is crazy, man. You know what? That is mad. That is mad. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even just. I can. I can just realize. Imagine. I haven't even made a point. Back. I haven't yeah, even I made a point. It's, 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 funny you can, it's funny you say that, and that was it. Everyone flipped. <laughs> <laughs> Would you turn the screen off, man? I was just guilty. You're guilty, then. Oh my god! Because I wasn't going to take that abuse for not even making a point. I just said it's funny you ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you ask. I do have a I do have a theory on it. If you want to yeah. hear it, or am I allowed to speak? Yeah. The theory what is, is when we were just before we lost Sterling, we had signed Haaland, and I a lot of City fans were saying, "Listen, Sterling's not been playing well at City for about two years because he was definitely a victim of the false nine system." <laughs> when he played, when he played his best football at Man City, he had an out and out striker. The best front three I think I've possibly ever seen in my lifetime as a Man City fan was Sane, Aguero, Sterling, out and out striker. So when Haaland arrived, I said. Sterling with an out and out striker beside him, we could re unlock vintage Sterling. But no, he wanted to leave. 
He went off. It is what it is. Now, we're six, seven months down the line, and an issue I have with the team is we don't have a really fast winger who'll burn up the grass, get him behind, and um, play the ball through for Erling. Well, don't make those faces. Play the ball for Erling. <laughs> oh, if, if, no. if, if, I'm not, I'm not saying re- I'm, not. I'm just saying I'd like a really fast winger. A, give me Sane. I want Sane. Go and get Sane back. Sterling, oh. though, I'm it's, I said it's oh, funny you ask because no. if we could get 2018 Sterling back, I'd be more than happy. But unfortunately, he's not that anymore, oh. is he? He's old man Sterling. No, no, listen. You don't deserve him back. Let's not do this. Oh, it, oh, as I said before, never treat yeah. like as, as I said, as I said before, yeah, as I said before, when when people were very very quick to jump on Sterling, even in Chelsea fan base, right. he's a very very good player. He is, yep. and just because he's not playing very well for us. Look at what he's surrounded by. Look at who's taking up the right half space. Is it Odegaard or is it Zakaria? Look who's playing at right back. Is it Reese James or is it Aspilicueta? You know, he might be a player that, yes, sometimes is a system player or whatever. But mm-hmm. let's not rub him out completely and be like, oh, he's a terrible footballer because he's not. And if he I'm goes back to City, he would, yeah, I'm not, I know you're not. I'm just talking about in general. If he went back to City, as, as mad as that would be, and I don't even know how that would even work because it's just such a slap in the face the way it all ended. <laughs> I think he would do well. I think he would help. Yeah. He would really help your, your issue. He would. He would. He would offer us, that's, that's, that's my overall point. He would offer us a dynamic that we don't have. Hopefully a, a winger that can get him behind, play balls over the top. Because all of our wingers right now, they want to turn back and cut in. Sterling doesn't yeah. do that. You, you need to move on. You need to move on. And you will move and, on. You need to no, move man, on. Bring him back, man. Just, but the thing is, it, it's not just Sterling. You did it with Jesus as well. Like, Why did you yeah. sell all the, all the players who could play wide and actually cut through teams? Without without touching the ball, it didn't make yeah, well, sense. It's very simple. It's very simple. These are quality players who we couldn't guarantee first team or, or starting eleven minutes to every week. They deserve to go to a club they wanted to leave. The only one I'm really stung about is Zinchenko. I'm not too stung about Jesus. I'm not too stung about Sterling. It's Zinchenko because we are lacking a left back with serious quality. I'm not saying we need Sterling back. I'm not saying we need Jesus back. All I'm saying is I would like a pacey winger who does a bit more than just invert and cut in. Case dismissed. Mm. <laughs> On that note, less. let's get the super chats in. We've got 14 here, saved to the side. Mostly Chelsea. Um, so I'll start with the Chelsea ones. AMT says Todd Bowley's players spending in six months, 468 mil. Languishing in temp. Disgraceful. Samuel says Matisse has so much chest for a club that's spent so much money in the last three, four years. One lucky Champions League, no title challenge. It's crazy. Who do you who do you support, Samuel? Who do you support? Don't matter, man. Super chat was a while ago, so I don't know if he's still big here. Big up Samuel, man. Big up Samuel. Samuel, if you're here, let him know in the in the chat. Jerome says, "I don't like what Chelsea are doing with the crazy spending, but maybe they will just buy a trophy. They might be really good <laughs> next season. Whatever, United all the way." Uh, Laka says it actually makes no sense because you still have the likes of Cal, but by and by the she- Shelly, it's breaking now. They Yo, someone's to- playing something in the background, isn't it? Go on. Oh, shit, sorry. <coughs> Are you watching you know, your back? Are you who, said we want, who said we want Trossard? Don't lie. We want Casado, though. Yeah, that's true. I'm not playing myself. You, actually, Arsenal want Trossard and Tottenham, so don't. don't, don't, yeah, don't I don't, don't want Trossard. Don't, don't talk for us, please. I saw the mm. report, man. I saw reported on DL Sports, man. And fuck these Twitter in the nose, man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them, bro. I'll be putting that shit out, man. I put that Lame shit out. Name the names, man. Name the names. I've named all of them on my stream the other night. I don't give a shit about Romano, Ornstein, Watts, J. I already put it out there, Turkish. Hey, leave Romano. Leave Romano. I put it out there. Yeah, Romano. Get all of them. You're talking about the shit, man. Turkish only listens to me, brother. Relax. Yes, Grizz. Come yes. on, <laughs> <laughs> Grizz. Can't be that exactly right. certified to be fair. So yeah, tier yeah. one. You know that that that's, that that thing tier... gets on my nerves. He's tier one, and people get gas, bare likes. Tier one. My Why are you friend. such a buzzkill, man? You what tier is uh, what tier is Grizz? Grizz. You know the Liverpool. Is? You know the Liverpool. I don't know if your clubs are you, similar, but you know Liverpool fan like base. Newspapers, bro. Yo, yeah, like check this out. The mirror and all that. I'm sure what these men are. I'm sure your clubs have got similar, but our clubs got reliability colours. Yes, the moons as well. Have you seen reliability? The moon, the moon, yeah. We got yeah. green is reliable and orange and all of that business. You understand? I'm just still colorless. Which color are you? Which which one? No, no color, black and white still. <laughs> Death and oh, Rice gosh. is the new one that that's been Jude born. is waiting for me to elevate. You understand? <laughs> you better be understand. <laughs> 
Bits <laughs> <laughs> of metal hey. says Abramovich cleared that billion pound debt. That's why Bowley can spend crazy money. Next year, homeboy is capped, surely. And he also adds Chelsea want to be Arsenal and they got played. What do you mean? Big Ash says Mudrick was only going to bang with the help of Arteta's coaching. I feel for the kid with the amount of pressure Chelsea fans are already putting on him. No, nah, there's no pressure, man. Come play ball. No pressure. Sheets again. Chelsea signing players that don't want to play for Chelsea. Make it make sense, people. It's all mad. Mike, Mudrick, Mudrick signing business. is mad. So I said again? Ma- mafia business going on over there, man. That's what I'm saying. Weird, isn't it? You don't, you, you don't yeah. know what they're going to do next. Yeah. Mike says, Mudrick signing is mad pressure on the guy. I don't think he would have had with us. But man, the announcement was classless. Proper cowboy. And Ryan says, Liverpool versus Chelsea this Saturday, a mid-table clash. The battle of the strugglers. Chelsea are just splashing with no pain or structure at the moment. I even oh, I forgot Liverpool are playing Chelsea. What is that? Midday kickoff? Saturday, man. You've got to be there to witness that mid-off, man. Mm-hmm. Mid-off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got one here. That's a, um, that's, that's a very good super chat. That one right there is a very good super chat. Well, the one I just read out? No, this one, this one. This one. Oh, this one. Um, player wages will go up a lot in seven years. Is Todd being wise by tying Mudrick to 100k for seven years, assuming he performs? I think these deals may become common. Well, it can go. It is risky. Way, it could, is risky, but if the upside is is good as well, it is. It can go either way, hundred percent. I wouldn't be surprised if they start going. If they continue going up because they've been going up for a while. <laughs> Tevin says, "I joined late, but showing the channel some love. Big up my G Turkish and all the man them. Come on, Tevin. Hope you're well, my guy. Why would you join it late? Are you out here watching Love Island? Talk to me, my guy. Mm. Big six over Love Island. Man. Come on." Uh, Ali says, regardless of outcome, Teta needs big respect. We were a joke three years ago. People forget too quick. Look how Martinelli, Odegaard, Saka, White, Xhaka have all developed. Teta transformed our club. Amazing for his first appointment. I actually agree with everything there. Tan says, big up the panel. Love the energy you all bring. Saeed, this is the time to be shameless. Say what you got to say with chest. I'm not about to call him one. Um, yeah, that's you, Saeed. Thanks. That's it. Lawrence, Sterling is Pep's third highest scorer behind Messi and, behind Messi and Aguero. Bro, bro needs some respect. And I've got a final one here. And it, yeah, it, it, listen, it's a, it's a mad one. It touched me, so I'm going to save it for the end. Daniel says, just want to say big up to you guys. Found out I got cancer last week and at least you guys can make me smile. Unlike my mess of a club Spurs. Enoch out, Levy out, Conte out, all of his excuses. Listen, yeah, I just yeah, want to just hope that you can beat it. I just yeah, hope that yeah, you can yeah, beat yeah, it, my bro. I hope it's at a stage where you can, you know, um, get the necessary what is it, get the necessary medication and necessary um care that can help you come back from it. Um, I'm glad that you know we can put a smile on your face. Um, I'd, I'd forget about Spurs for now, you know, because life is more important than football, but at the same time, you need to keep active, you need to keep busy, you need to keep entertained. But yeah, stay strong, stay positive. That's the main thing. Um, keep your head up. And Prayers and best wishes from everyone. Yeah, best wishes every from single yeah, one of us really. and every single one of these people in the chat as well. So mm. show the brother some love, people in the chat, man. Thanks. Positive vibes, positive prayers, positive wishes coming your way, bro. Mm. 100%. Mm. Andrew, if anything, message me on Instagram as well. Um, do that now if possible or Twitter and then... Um, We'll talk and keep me updated with the process and, and, and hopefully hopefully you turn a corner with it. Um, but hopefully, you know, messaging can help as well. So make sure you do that Instagram or Twitter. I'll check it in the next half an hour or so. But like Chris said, prayers are with you, my bro. Prayers are with you. Um, appreciate the super chat, but that's nothing in comparison to what you're going through. So keep your head up, stay positive, and we're all praying for you. A lot of love in the chat as well right now. And big up, Daniel. Big support of the show. And on that note, people, a sad note to end it on, but that, you know, this, this is what life is, people. Um, it, it football's, I mean, life is bigger than football. So I, do, I did want to get that in at the end. Um, but yeah, listen, it's been two hours, 47 minutes. It's our longest show by far. Big up, you, big up Saeed, big up Grizz, big up Tol, big up Matisse. Make sure you subscribe to the Mandem, people. Make sure you subscribe to the Mandem. I want to see their followers go up today because there's a lot of new watchers here. And definitely we hit about 12.5k mad mad numbers the show just keeps on growing 
but make sure you support the man then because we're all doing shows on each other's channel we're all on each other's channels live chat so make sure you're there people and um, the official big six channel is there as well we're going live tomorrow at 10 p.m after liverpool wolves for the big six extra and we're back here friday 9 p.m for the game week 21 i believe preview liverpool chelsea arsenal united another big couple fixtures there um one at the top of the table one mid table but they're big six fixtures nonetheless um on that note hit the like button we've passed five thousand likes already so love for the love, love for everyone that's done that so far. There's 10.4K in here. And if you haven't supported Manscaped, make sure you do that. TB620 is the code. Um, you can use the link in the description and automatically apply it. But please do check in the checkout process. You can use the code for any product on the website. And they've got a good fair few products and some good products, to say the least. So make sure you show the, the, the show some love by showing the sponsor some love because the sponsor is helping us do more than just this show. And there's a lot more to come in the next six to 12 months, people. So make sure you're here. Make sure you're there. Make sure you're on everyone's channel looking out for it. And make sure you follow the socials at The Big Six Show, Instagram at The Big Six Show, Twitter at The Big Six Show, TikTok. And yeah, we'll call it a day there. Last little word from Matisse. This show is sponsored by Manscaped, the leaders in below the waist grooming. Listen up, nerds. If you don't want to be virgins, you don't have your balls looking like gremlins. Use the code TB620 manscaped.com